We are live. We are live. We are live. Pontificators. It's Wednesday, baby. And uh, yeah, live long and uh, pontificate. That's what we're going to do tonight. Um, this this night is going to get so sexy. Um, Rob isn't even going to know what hit him. I, can't, I know. You 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 gotta you gotta bring me back to the live streaming slow. You can't hit me with super sexy right from the beginning. I I Do can't. You know? No, it's too Why much. I, my head will explode. It'll explode. You gotta, think, you gotta think of me as a baby. You too, baby. I, I a big hairy baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big hairy YouTube baby. A big hairy baby. But if you guys don't know, this is this is Rob Hunter, and uh, he used to be a pontificator. Um, he <laughs> left us some time ago. He packed his bags. Uh, he thought he could make it. You know, like when you run away from home the first time, mm -hmm. your parents are like, "Well, see you later." So um, we were kind of like that. We were like, "Hey, don't let the door hit you." And so Rob took off. Thought he could, mm -hmm. you know, make it on his own. Yeah. Um, and uh, last week he said, "Hey, I want I want to come back. I want to come back, see what you guys are doing." And then um, his internet shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I went to Hollywood. I made like uh, a quick five mil, and now oh, I'm back shit. to hang out to hang out with the peasants. So, I so there you go. Home. So yeah, this is a good thing. So Bob's gonna hang out with all of us peasants here, um, and we're going to uh, talk sexy. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna show all kinds of like sexy Star Trek women. Um, there's some mm -hmm. actually uh, cosplay stuff that's pretty uh, pretty alarming. Fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I am not gonna pretend to be a Star Trek person. I am <gasps> not. What? No, no. I, I I I'm not against Star Trek. I just don't know much of. It. Look at you got a Star Wars T-shirt on there, Rob. Jeez. I don't geez. actually own any Star Trek T-shirts. <laughs> I, I blame that on the marketing of Paramount. There you go. It's all their mm -hmm. fault. Um, yeah. Let's let's say hi. We got Edwin the Ace. Uh, volume three is coming soon. Hell That's yeah! Uh, Hail pontificators. Uh, some guy named Clint, Clint Helinski is in the chat. Uh, welcome. Uh, Who's that? Yeah, welcome. Uh, we got SF Gaming. Uh, Hell Comics Gate. Chris Graves, what's up, man? I just can't get into Star Trek. Oh, dude. I, I, hey, hey, Chris, just between you and I. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm not, like I said, I'm not against it. I just don't really, I just don't really know too much about it. So you guys are going to have to like uh, help me through here. The guy who knows everything about Star Trek, this guy right here. I mean, I'm going to introduce everybody um, that's going to be on the show through the chat. So, what do you think, Rob? Is that Sounds how like we should fan, do it? Fantastic idea. <laughs> it's a fantastic idea. It's never been done before. This will be a first. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Randy Howe, what's up? Leg kick. All right, we we got enough new faces in here. All right, well let's get let's get the star of the show. The star of the show is this guy right here. Without this guy, we have no stars. <laughs> He's like a jukebox <laughs> hero. Remember that 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 foreigner song? He's got stars in his eyes. He's a jukebox I don't know hero. Sorry. I'm sorry. Stars in his eyes. All right. This guy, Todd Milrooney. Where are those stars? Oh Come on, Todd. Oh my God. You I know. A good intro. Whoa. That's so cool. Where's your blue? Where's your blue, Todd? You want yeah. blue? Yeah. yeah, I got something I, I, I have to do while I'm doing the show. So oh, so no blue, no. I gotta be. Wait listening. a minute. So so you get no blue, and then Rob's got a Star Wars shirt on while we're doing For a Star, Star Trek, Trek and he looks crystal clear. I know. Hey, he looks yeah. fast. Fios. It's Fios. That's They're my Fios. new sponsor. It's amazing. <laughs> my Look, new I can sponsor. see what it you had for dinner yesterday. It took it's three right months. here on his shirt. <laughs> three months of negotiating with Files, but two years, $30 million. So wait a minute. So you leave you leave Pontificators and you nail a big Hollywood deal yep. and, and a deal with sponsor. the cable company. Yeah. So, so you don't sponsor? need us. Wow. Yeah. Huge sponsor. Huge. I am sponsored by Files now. So when you said you were slumming it, you weren't you weren't effing around. I was I was being ironic. 
<laughs> as I sat on a throne of hundred dollar bills. So you gotta. I'm you shitting on some hundred dollar bills right now. I, All right. I know the, what's that place that makes the alligator bites? Was it Smoky Joe's or something like that, or whiskey? Gators. Whiskey. Gators. It's in Tampa or not far from Tampa. What is it? I don't know. There's like 19 places that will sell alligator bites. Like and alligator are amazing. Bites. So you gotta get a sponsor that's gives you free alligator bites for life. Fios is sponsoring me, and you want me to slum it with fried food? Oh How dare you, sir? Food oh, McDonald's. Made... If it's not McDonald's, no. No sponsor. No. You, you know, I, I found out McDonald's actually makes more, more money off their real estate than they do off the franchise itself. You watched the movie. Wow. Yeah, they own yeah. all that property. I think some of that shit mm -hmm. was false when they're saying Big Macs are like 20 bucks and shit like that, but whatever. Okay, well, well, you know what? These it's, we're being very rude here. So uh, yeah. we got we got this guy. I've had tech advice. I've had people try to walk me through things. Nobody, nobody compares to this guy. Like the song, no one compares to this guy, Mister Comic Book Bob. You owe me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have the patience was, of a saint. Jeez, man, it's like. So I said, I'm going to do No, over there. Click that. No, that, that yeah. right there. The three dots. Yeah, he's, ta he's talking. Oh, my like God. Me. And we're in StreamYard. It's not like we're in uh, what's the <laughs> one that you use that's sort of outside of it, but you can go through it. Oh, OBS no. or something. OBS? Yeah. OBS. Yeah. yeah. OBS. yeah. Oh, man, I, I wouldn't even try to. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to walk you through OBS. I man. tried. I tried OBS early on. And yeah, you yeah. can do a lot of things in OBS. Yeah. But it's not very user friendly. Once People were saying yeah, it was user friendly used to it, at the though, time. Man, it's, it, you can do a lot of cool shit with it. <laughs> yeah, like have an intro and little music for each person. Yeah, well, where's the intro? Like the only one that ever delivers anything is Chris and Pedro. I, I, got, an I got an intro. Todd, an intro. Excuse you me. A, you got an intro for all of us? No, no, I have an intro just for me. Shant, Shant made me one for Kings. Well, I got one too, but. Bob doesn't have one. Todd, look at Todd. He doesn't have one. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You know who really needs one? I don't think he really needs one. Because this is the sexiest man you will see tonight. Mr. Clint Hillensky. Gentlemen, how's everyone doing? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so this show is going to have to live up to uh, Clint's standards because uh, uh -oh. this is like They're right really up. high. Yeah. They're, yeah. <laughs> They're both upwards. <laughs> My standards are low. Super high. It's like high beams. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, whatever girl was still standing at the end of the night when the lights came on at the bar. Oh, <laughs> come on! Three o'clock in the morning. Maybe she wasn't standing. But still, the standards were like way up here, top shelf standards. Really? Did you say maybe she wasn't standing? <laughs> Is that what you needed? Said? A little help. She couldn't. she couldn't. Need a little help. Little help here. Wow. Hey, now that you got yeah. Rob in, in five well, Art, minutes. I made sure she got home to her bed. Ooh. <laughs> but it was your bed instead. Are you guys going to bring back your show now that well, Rob's in well, 5 Well, hold K? on. Can I bring in? Look at this guy. He's <laughs> being so patient back there. Todd doesn't Todd, even Todd care. got one good intro, and now he's getting all high and mighty over there. Yeah. <laughs> just talking <laughs> over everybody. Just It's about Todd Melrooney Dooney. Fresh and fruity. <laughs> Fresh and fruity. <laughs> Fresh and Todd Maroney. Fresh and Todd Maroney. All right, man. Uh, we got the barren soil. Uh, Mr. Chris, uh, what's, yeah, what's up, man? Why did I come back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost a spit take. I'm fucking yeah, up. almost. Did it do that live long and butt stuff? Oh. Live long your butt stuff? He looks All right, how many folded, people can right? do both hands? Ooh, I could do that. I used to be able to do them a lot better than this. I, I can't. A girl that had a girlfriend, they would do this. <laughs> this is all I got. All right, Keep all right, going. enough, enough, you Clint. Get the sound enough. enough, Clint. Clint, <laughs> I, mean, I need some lotion in there. It's like a hand. I know it's kind of a dry, dry hump. <laughs> <laughs> Clint was dry humping his hands. <laughs> Started, Chief. Yeah. Chris, you. 
Chris looks like he's, he's he, we got a shrine going on for Chris. Yeah, there it looks. Oh, yeah, my fireplace. I got a fucking black light poster and, uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, disco dis ball, disco ball, and fucking, uh, the sacrifices yeah. on the opposite wall, Little, uh, recreational <laughs> things. The sacrifice oh, no. is inside the lava lamps. Mm. Hang on this second. is like the cool bachelor pad you always wanted when you were a single dude, right? No. Well, not yours. Yours isn't as cool as Chris's. Look at Chris. No, it never would get me that, that cool. <laughs> I still think I've, I've been in a lot of like sleazy offices, like at nightclubs and stuff like that. I still say that Rob Hunter's backdrop is a sleazy office in a nightclub somewhere. It, it looks like like the back room of uh, of a uh, blockbuster. Yeah, there's one blockbuster still alive, oh, wait, go away, go away. and I work there. Is there? No. And, and you're moonlighting right now. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's got an Atari back there, and <laughs> it's like weird. It's like weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I got like twenty million dollars in like vintage toys, but I can't sell them. I can't part. Yeah. Stop. Well, just just know that Rob's slumming it. Did you guys hear? Like, Rob's in the money now. Yeah, five know, sponsor. right? Yeah, it's nice. nice. When do they get some of the t-shirts? Uh, we have to negotiate if I wear the t-shirts. We didn't. That wasn't part of the contract, so I no extras. Hey, it's got to be. It's got to be in the contract. So, uh, oh my gosh. Scissor action is what you'll get with Fairy Queen versus Lame that's, Girl. That's on the cover. Oh, oh, oh shit! Look at, that. look at that! Oh my gosh! That is oh, wow. so cool, man. That is so cool. We were oh my. <laughs> we weren't nerdy enough cool. in here. You got an oh my. So is that the skirt? <laughs> the skirt. It's, it's the short pants. It's the short pants. You got the Uhura skirt? <laughs> if I had had time, I, I nerded out because I did the the Star Trek experience in Vegas when it was still there at the mm -hmm. um, whatever casino it was. It, it was a blast. Is but that like the one with we, the sets and everything, or the sets and the Borg chase after you. Uh, yeah, and I drove three like hours to do that in upstate New York. It was fun. Yeah, it was great. It was fun. And then you get like a little video where they put you in an uh, uh, original series episode. So yeah. I've got like a DVD of me and my wife just dorking out completely. Because she's <laughs> a bigger Star Trek nerd than me. Yeah, so, well, you know, like uh, Pedro was saying he's a big Star Trekky and knows all this stuff. Where's Pedro at? Uh, uh, actually, I think he said he, he didn't know anything. Panels oh, that's right, but he's the one that, uh, and yet, he's the one that was posting all the sexy ladies. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Surprisingly, he had a bunch of sexy lady pictures of Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't know anything about Star Trek. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, He'll show up at some point once he gets his monkeys going. <laughs> what's with what's with Pedro and monkeys? What is that? It, that's it's, how he powers his internet. What powers the electricity down there. There's a way they yeah. are down under. Yeah, moved it's up all the banana powered machinery. <laughs> banana powered machinery. Banana and coca. That yeah. sounds racist. Yeah. Being racist. That's okay. It's just regional. Hey, well, Rob has one cool. fan. Rob has one fan right now. It's Ryan or Brian uh, Norton. So uh, Rob <laughs> I'm is finally, finally back. back. Finally yeah. Back. Apparently, the check cashed. Yeah. Brian, yeah. Indeed. Brian works at FiOS, so he's part <laughs> he's, of the negotiation. He's your sponsor. He's your final sponsor. <laughs> all right. All right. You guys. All right. I'm flying in the dark. So I've already established that uh, not so hip on the Star Trek stuff. Not uh -oh. opposed to it, it's, but. This is like Spider-Man all over again. This is like Spider-Man. And I'll probably throw you under the bus a couple times, Chris. Yeah. <gasps> Oh. No, I won't. I won't. I'll be. I'll be good. I'll be good. All right. So, so we got to get into this. Who is the Star Trek people? Like, who's the go-to? I don't know. Okay, Chris, Star Trek. Uh, okay, Chris Clint? is more old like school than me, but yeah, right? I'm a pretty big Star Trek nerd. How about you, Bob? I love Star. Oh yeah. And how about you, Todd? Definitely. 
Oh shit! So I'm the only one that isn't. So I've gone. How about, how about we all just do like a top three, and then we'll see if we can get a a group consensus on the top three. Well, I think we should well, I was... have different categories though, like sluttiest of the Star Trek women. Okay. <laughs> top thirty. <laughs> top. <laughs> top, no, Clint. Topless thirty. Topless thirty. Topless 30? I think oh topless my 30. gosh. Yeah. Man, although I think you and me are, are on the same path with DePaul. Probably. Yes. With the who? Wow. What? No, How dare just, you, we're sir. just going to have to accept that Art is going to have a lot of questions. Art all night tonight will just have like the question mark symbols and his thought balloons over his head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got it right here. It'll probably be reversed, though. <laughs> yes. Nope, that works. That works. All That's right, like so, <laughs> so uh, Clint, you want to take the lead? So are, are we doing the sluttiest, the top three sluttiest? Well, I, I've got some images pulled up, so let me, let me uh, share. I thought something. we would kind of ease into some of the, okay. the more okay. risque stuff. You guys are going like, like what about like. No, like... no, no, no. I, I'm joking around. I, I've got, I, I, th this isn't even the sluttiest, but th these were just ones that popped into my mind. And I almost went. Like there's obvious hot babes. Like the the newer shows have hotter. Well, not the. No, not the newer. We, shows. we gotta talk three generations. We gotta talk yes. three generations yeah. and establish three generations. Old Star Trek, the original yes. series, and then when it came back again, next gen DS Nine. I I can't even Enterprise in with that. And then Voyager. new Star Trek, which has kind of been the woke Star Trek. So yeah, yeah, social justice. There are not hot babes, and oh yeah. now Str Stranger Worlds, Stranger Worlds. I you know, so so there's three. You know, there, there's one woman. I God, what, what what was her name? She was in that Next Generation. Was it Wesley Crusher? I didn't think she was that hot. <laughs> Well, if he wasn't a woman, then he is now. <laughs> what a little What's bitch! I know enough. Not. I know enough the, about the only, that stuff to know that that guy's a bitch. The the only person that <laughs> might find Wesley Crusher hot is P Diddy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Dude. Oh. Dude. Oh. Dude. Current oh. events. Take it. <laughs> that guy is gonna go down hard. He might get Epstein, man. He might get <laughs> Epstein. It's over for that guy. You Did you see? Like they theory. had like military. Like that was a whole. Oh, dude, he got Asian man. He got raided. He, there was somebody protecting that dude for a long time, and all of a sudden that protection was up. <laughs> he, was he's up. been doing this shit for a decade. Wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot of weird shit going on over there. Yeah. 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 And you know, with the name like P Diddy, it kind of seems obvious now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I the uh the diddler the yeah, diddler he, was he uh, trending on on X earlier. He diddly. He you diddly didn't sounds any... like an Alice in the one in Wonderland villain. He yeah. diddly. Yikes. In that world, you can't fire somebody. You have to make them disappear. Oh, and that's for sure. you know, you can't say get away from me. I don't I don't want you near me anymore. No, that person has to go and be gone. Yeah. You know, this we, is the world yeah. that we're slowly entering through uh, Rob Hunter's success right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I was P. Diddy, I'd be shaking in my boots right now that I'm going to get Epstein. Well, it's kind I of don't think he even that, has any boots you know, on. I think they, they got him in the nude. Yeah, but with the size of the raids and that he himself did not get picked up, I mean, that's, you know. That's, well, didn't he take unusual. off? Didn't he? he, he, he his he, uh, his plane is. His plane went to Antigua, but he didn't go on it. He stayed right. in uh, in uh, Miami. Why would he? Why would he? Stay because he could get killed. He could get whacked way easier in Antigua than he could in Miami. Moving those yeah, hard you, drives. Oh um, yeah, maybe he's he's still moving money. He's got to yep. move that money as fast as possible. He's got to do some coverage. Uh, well, let's let's get into this because uh, this is the second time Tony Dash has talked about this. Tony Dash twenty three dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much. So, uh, Baron Soil, we're going to get into this uh, in more detail at the end. But uh, since you super chatted me, let's uh, let's go into Baron Soil. What genre? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Oh, we're gonna play the trailer already. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, no, we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that. It's, we're just gonna answer Tony's question. Yeah, it's an. an uh, 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's it's very dark, uh, but it's it's kind of got a superhero in it, but it's not a, like anybody with powers or anything. And uh, but all the stories are exceptionally dark. Uh, Art, you read the first one, right? I think it's it's kind of like it, it's kind of a I don't know. I want to say supernatural mystery. Um, there, there's there's a it's mystery. Be yeah. some it's a thriller. Yeah. It's a, it's a thriller mystery. I think. Yeah, and there's gonna be some weirdness that that creeps in like you know a handful of issues so you're, you're right about that yeah yeah it's really good though uh i got the the privilege of reading through it and uh it's it's really good so um, it is good. anybody it, that it's... gets turned on to it and and um and reads it is going to enjoy the hell out of it chris is a, is a major storyteller you guys um yeah don't it's mess very with chris. Bold. Uh, very share beautiful. the share the free download link I got it. I already put it in. Yeah, that's true. Just yeah. since put the yeah. link. You can put that up. And just let the guy yeah. grab it. Because we're gonna so you can check it out. We're gonna yeah, we're still, we're we'll still, our, yeah, we're still free. teaching Chris uh, how to promote. So, uh, B. A. Turner says a uh, vigilante's creed. <laughs> Hell, jabronis. Jabronis. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Well. Randy is tired of just waiting for the sexy. So mm -hmm. hot as Vulcan ever. Um, I don't know who this this that's uh, T'Pol. Uh, Enterprise. Oh, that Jolene Blaylock. Yeah, that's T'Pol. Yeah, that's yeah. my pick. Okay, yeah. and he's right. As hottest. Yeah, dude, she's pretty damn hot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Does, does anybody have an image of her? This uh, is yeah. I'm it right now. Or okay. I don't know. Young that's not her. Femke no, if you click on it, she'll pop up. Okay. Yeah, she will. <clears throat> no. No, Ooh, that's right. not her. Oh, well, I know it's not. Hold on a second. Oh my god, young. Yeah, that's like a cute. That's a cute girl sorry. next door that look Ashley right Judd. there. This Ashley Judd. I, I Ashley Judd is. is when she was fifteen. She looked like she was forty and upset. Yeah. Yeah. She's always, she definitely got better looking as she got older. She's, she's always. Well, I don't know like why it's not letting me switch it over. Here, hold on a second. Yeah. Her leg yeah, doesn't go uh, quite go the same as it used to, but you know. That's there her. you go. I got, you could probably uh, catch her if she ran. Well, you could probably catch her if she ran. <laughs> Here, let me let me stop. I don't know. Uh, what I said something in the chat. Art. The, screen, the screen froze up. So sorry about that. Oh, no problem. There you go. One there, you, there she is. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, that's her. There you go. That's her. Yes, it, yep. That's her. That's, in, that's from Jolene. Maxim. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, remember so Maxim? Wow, that was yeah. good stuff. So That's the same. One. Wow. Okay. Yep. And uh, of course, uh, back uh, they actually um, this is her on the cover of the magazine of Ramp. What is yep. Ramp? Uh, it's it's. I think it's a it's a British magazine. Oh. And then of course that awesome I'm scene so back back when Star Trek actually had balls. That was mm -hmm. a oh yeah, this is when they came back and they had to. This just was like the, yep. the end of the anti woke era. Yeah, they had to de decontaminate. That was yeah, the decontamination. Okay, what did what did she look like from the front? I think I know who this well, character. First is. First thing you need to know is that. No, no, no. Like as a Vulcan, though. Like so I've got to pull like up that. now oh, yeah, it, as a Vulcan. Her her. Short hair. It wasn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. Here we go. Okay, mm. I know who. She, all right. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't have picked her. Yeah, why did they give her that haircut? That's I don't know. Because that's because that's the Vulcans, man. Yeah. Uh, because so even the, the women have the producers same cut? is weird. is a gay dude. That's why <laughs> one of the Star Trek producers is gay. That's why they gave her that terrible. Haircut. You think just one? No, so, one yeah. of the major guys. One of the it's major. Holly, like, it's Hollywood. Three. Probably most yeah. of them. I think well, the thing like, is, the, yeah, the haircut Rob, was always traditional with Vulcans and with Romulans. So, yeah, Rob would know yeah. now because now he's all Hollywood. So when he speaks yeah. like this, he's got credibility. Yeah. I like this version of her better. Oh yeah, I, we Can all you blow do. that up. Can you make it bigger? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what she yeah. said. <laughs> oh, somebody <laughs> had to do it. Somebody yeah. had to Where the do hell is it. it? The I'm trying to find it. Who's is this? This is Bob. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so stop guy. sharing it. Let me share it again here. Sorry. All right. 
It's acting on it. It was acting weird. Well, and mine yeah. was acting weird too because it won't let me change the images. It just freezes on whatever image I have up there. So this I is going to go real well. Yeah, yeah. that's not. It's not off to a great start. <laughs> that, that there you go. There you go. That British magazine said it had a life size pinup. Yeah. Um, oh, can you make it bigger? That's how that's what you she said. A magazine though. Is that as big as it can go? That's about. I, as, need, I mean, that's what she said. Oh my. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> See, that was sex well done. Threesome. Sex threesome. Yep. Who wants to read about NASCAR when you have this woman on the cover? Who wants to read anything? I want to talk about. I want to talk about these these killer babes of pro paintball here, the ball busters. Wait a minute, is she? <laughs> wait, is she? She's sitting on a toilet. Uh, no, I think that's like a stool or something. You can see legs coming out just right at the bottom there. <laughs> I think she's got to go. It kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> that's that's a toilet. It kind of looks like my toilet, actually. Oh, oh what are you saying, Todd? This chick yeah. gave you gave you a visit. She came over and gave you a visit. Hey, Does we're already off to a good start because this is way better than Graham's show. Because his his show is like watching Tyson DeGrassi. Is <laughs> <laughs> Graham, we love you, but come on, we're reaching new high levels of entertainment. And high I drew that one naked. Well, next time you draw, put your clothes on. <laughs> yeah, put your clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Randy, Randy says oiled and ready. Yep. Oh and that's basically gosh. that that uh, that decontamination thing. That's what they would do. They would was, oil themselves was, up. There's a hot oil massage. Yeah, they had like this, like like the, they couldn't decontaminate, but they had to put this stuff on, and it was basically hot oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was sweet week. Oh yeah, they had to put it on each other. Yeah. Yes, they did. They couldn't, yeah. yeah, they couldn't put it on each other's back, so they had to do it on each other's back. Wow, yeah. Cyborg yeah. Valkyrie's got a top ten list, and, and that's pretty solid. That, that still that you guys Cy Cyborg before. Valkyrie's done more work than we have. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, like like in the green room, all we did is we just were sharing pictures. That's all we did. <laughs> we kept getting distracted. I would say. Yeah, there was no context. There was no nothing. It was just like who could top the other one in in sexiness. Yeah, I, I would say that seven of nine versus to Paul for one and two. That's T'Pol. that's your. Yeah, that's your. Uh, hey Bob, do you have Mar Mariana Hill? In, in like pictures of her mariana hill yeah mm -hmm. but see she's got denise crosby as four yeah i would I say denise, denise crosby's crosby oh. sister is higher than denise crosby Ooh, i've Here's got that. i've got a picture of denise crosby's sister denise crosby yeah the only yeah. one i know here is no, Chris, hey. christy alley because she was in the movie i've got that right? pulled up i've got yeah, that, that pulled up yeah. art that was Lieutenant yeah. Sarah. Christy Alley was a doll, man. Yeah, From yeah, day yeah. one, Christy Alley was just gorgeous. I remember she, she kind of, yeah, she kind of stole the show. Like whenever she was on camera in yep. the movie, she was really good. I, I didn't she know was. who she was or anything. And like I said, I had zero real. And this was this was early on. Like nobody knew who she was, and the camera just loved her. Like she. Yeah. She she like worked it, and I mean, she came in as like some Star Trek Vulcan, and she turned that into a TV career where she was a major star for a very long yeah. time. So. Well, she was a she was a half breed. She was half Vulcan, half Romulan. Mm -hmm. But all hot. Thing. Yeah, which is that why she doesn't like, have that stupid haircut? Well, yeah, and it's because like she's like uh, she was like like she was like uh, sexually frustrated. She could have the she could have the nerd ears and the sexy hair. Yeah. She yeah, because she had to... long hair, right? Like she yeah. let oh, it yeah. down. Yeah, oh, yeah, she had, yeah. She wears hair. it long at the end. Yeah, uh -oh. I found a fairly decent picture of Mariana Hill, Todd. So it's okay. kind of hard to find a good picture of her. So is this is this all part of uh, Cyborg Valkyrie's top uh, top ten? Yeah. A little well, bit. Mm -hmm. Raijin yeah. is another Enterprise character. Denise Crosby. I, I, I think her. I think her sister in that show. Well, yeah. Was yeah, they recreate. Was it? Wasn't it Kim Cattrall that came back as Savic? As uh, yeah. she, she, yeah, she yeah. no, no, no. That was she was a different character. No, oh, no. it was a, a different character. No, that was, was the one Savick. with the she blue. Wasn't 
It was the murder mystery with the boots, it right? Was written to be well, I got I gotta character. see this. You guys are talking. I gotta see so Kim Cattrall was in one of the Star Treks? Yeah, yeah she yes. was this yeah, one was movies. written to be the same character and then it couldn't get Kirsty Allen to come back, so they just changed the name. Yeah, so they changed so it's uh, supposed her name to be was uh, Valera. Character. And it makes a lot more sense if it is the same character, you know. But I and it could have been, they you know, but they just decided to change it. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, there, there's only there's, one woman you have to remember because, in Star uh, Wars, and that's they, uh, Leia. They had the uh, what's the, I can't remember her name now. What's the other chick that that played Savick in the in Star Trek? 3? Yeah, it was the third girl. Yeah, played, I think yeah, basically same character. Uh, oh, I know what you're thinking of. She was on the planet with his son. Yeah, she's uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah I saw her, and I was like, oh, she's not pretty. That's so I did not save any of her pictures. There's, Robin. There's her name was Robin something. Robin Curtis. There's Robin tons Curtis. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin Curtis. That's right. There's tons of hot Star Trek or Star Wars women. They just put them in alien makeup. Because yeah. I met a couple of them at a con. So the, they are there's you some Hollywood. smoke. Hollywood there's some Bob. smoking so, hot chicks. Yeah. So and Rob so. got to know these women beyond their costumes. Elevator ride. That's it. Well, no, no. I'm just saying that you're, you're that an in-depth guy. Like you, you don't just yes, look at are. the costumes and go, "Yes." Like you get to know them beyond the costumes. You know, yeah. see who they really are. Behind, you know, behind all that makeup and everything. Which, okay, uh, so this way, is her here. This is Kim Cattrall. That's, no, this, no, is, no. this is Denise Crosby. That's not Kim Cattrall. No. This is this is uh, Lieutenant Yar's sister in Star Trek. Who yeah. is yeah. way, way, is way, way hotter than yeah, Natasha yeah. Yar. And we stay even, on topic, like where's even her, even her half Romulan, no. even her half Romulan daughter Ishara Yar, yes, much hotter. She was a, a freedom yep. fighter on her planet. She got left behind by her sister who entered a Starfleet, but much much hotter sister. So is it crazy? I we need to bring this hairstyle back. Look at that. It's not. It's not oh, that. None of that is to no. me. No. That's, That's like. All uh, good. Space she looks like she jumped out of like a uh, uh, one of those videos where you exercise. Like it's exercise. a very '80s video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you almost got her hair. Art. I'm kind of, kind of working on it right there. Yeah. <laughs> you, got that 80, oh, you got that there you '80s go. wave still going. Yeah, it's called bedhead. <laughs> That's what I call it. Some people say it's just a mess, but I call it bedhead. All right, there's a bunch of names that I don't know, but did we? We never got to uh, Kim Cattrall, like. You want to see what Kim Cattrall looked Kim like in Star Trek? Picture. She was pretty bad. Is she a yeah. Ferengi? And also, they got her pretty buttoned up in the no. movie. No, right. she, she's uh, she looks really kind of frumpy, actually. Well, okay, Cyborg Valkyrie. She this person's the only one that seems to know what they're doing here. Yeah, she knows. Uh, she knows. That's half a mullet and half a Ferengi head skirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it's Hubba. pretty awful. That's pretty hubba, awful. Hubba hubba. All right. So here, here's save pretty, the hubba hubba for uh, Kim Cattrall. This I'm, better I'm, not let I'm me down. I'm almost there. I'm almost <laughs> going. Almost to stay on target. Oh, wrong movie. <laughs> on, tar <laughs> on target. Fuck. All right. You know what? In the meantime, in the meantime, you guys are just kind of <laughs> not doing well here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think we're doing about as good as usual. <laughs> <laughs> this is God. I, you would think All right, here we go. I don't know who this person is. It looks a little AI-ish. No, maybe maybe a little photoshoppy. Yeah, that's just but, a cosplay. Uh, cosplay. But this is yeah, this is cosplay. Cool. Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cute. Yeah. Okay. He's already to cosplay now. Oh yeah. Well, you guys are just boring the heck out of me. I found Kim Cattrall. Okay. Oh, see, finally. But you're not going to be that impressed. Yeah. Oh, my God. How do you ruin Kim Cattrall? Like they that. did. They did. She was not. Oh, she was very She was very God. by the books. She was She was Spock's, Spock's uh, almost kind of like his, uh, his, his, his kiss-ass student. Yeah. yeah. Protégé, like, kiss-ass student. She goes through the whole movie like that, though. Oh my gosh. It was, it was perfect for the movie, but yeah, not one of the hottest Star Trek girls of all time. Oh, look at look at Cyborg uh, is critiquing the image I pulled up. Uh, boots are wrong. 
They were leather. <laughs> I love people that are really into the stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they, they're like just like, you screwed it up, man. <laughs> they have no tolerance. Okay, so this, this is not – okay, I'm choosing to believe this is not Kim Cattrall, so I'm going to eradicate <laughs> this from my brain. Thank I got one much. for you. I want Cyborg Valkyrie to guess who this is. Uh, well, there's many images. So it's one yeah. actress? No. This one here? Yeah, that's one actress. Oh, well, see, that's this just, is nice. Yeah. This is no, probably somebody's mom too. now, right? This is from yeah. the 60s. Yeah. And that's the, probably the original series had some hotties, man. And they had some skimpy costumes. Yeah. And that's probably my number one pick. Uh, Andrea, yeah. Oh, my gosh. There's a picture of Kim Cattrall, how she looks now. She looks just like that Star Trek lady. <laughs> she looks she looks a little swollen. <laughs> I've got one oh, I'll pull up later, but it's, it, it's Uhura and uh, Kirk's love interest from the Mirror Mirror episode. And uh, again, I skim, skimpy uh, Oh, outfit. yeah. 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 They had some great outfits in the old series. But Kim okay, Cattrall was like on a Columbo, so she's uh, she's no spring chicken. But if we really want to talk about the hottest Star Trek babes of all time, we got to go next gen. I, I've got it pulled up right now, Art. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm downloading this. I, I need I need this, you guys. You don't understand how badly I need this. All right, I'm gonna share <laughs> I'm gonna share this. Uh, I need this. All right, this is the this is the Kim Cattrall we all know and love. Oh yes. Okay, I just want to I just want to say Big Trouble in Little China. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great movie. That's oh, Porky's. It so annoyed me when she Porky's left her lipstick so on uh, Kirk Russell when he's like fighting people and he's got lipstick on. I don't. Know I thought that I was funny. That. I don't, I, it bothered me for some reason. They didn't really bug you. To let him back in. Oh shit! I didn't. I didn't know he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh when, thank when, you, Bob. When Chris I'm, leaves, Chris automatically comes back. Yeah. But when Bob leaves, Bob's out for good. Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> How long were you gone? How long were you gone for? Like I don't know. I was looking at like, oh. Oh. Dude, I was going to probably check on, oh. dude, let me back in. My God. I was it cost looking Bob at two bucks to get back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I make my money these days. God, Lord, <laughs> man. Yeah, I'll let you back in for two bucks. I'll let you back in for two bucks. Yeah, the first time's free. Well, Chris, Chris is on the payment program, so Chris so you owes think me you about want to be on the bucks. pontificators. <laughs> Yeah, Chris owes me a hundred bucks. He's hey, I got one with a thing. real skimpy hey, costume. Take it out of the logo fee. Oh What's wait, that? wait, wait, wait! Hold on, you guys! I gotta read this. Jesus, Art, this stream is amazing. <laughs> Art's, Art's getting complimented on how well he's running the show. Let's everybody stop. <laughs> oh God, it's so it's so, it's so well run. It's so well you, run. It's this. It's this irony. It's this ironic. It's this like a this? Swiss watch. You know what, so Cyborg? Many, this would mean so much more if there was maybe a two dollars super chat attached to oh. it. <laughs> Wait, if I tip two dollars, <laughs> can I come in? I think I could pontificate on Trek. Um, what do we say? Two dollars? Is that, or should we do like two eight dollars? Wow. Eight, eight, I want, all right. I want my two dollars. Okay, okay, wait. So, so Kim Cattrall was like she was the palate cleanser. Okay, Ugh. so <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> well, no, not the not the, the dude, weird. Man. Star I, I, mean, I got, like got a, the hottest next gen girls pulled up right now, or if you want, dude, to they made it. they made her look like a foot. <laughs> well, wait, I, I, who was the one, the chick from the sixties? Who was that? Did anybody? Jerry Jackson. Jerry, Jerry Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of them from the oh, 60s that were good. Oh shit! Do we do we who does anybody know Cyborg Valkyrie? I yeah, think I yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. uh, Shay's a uh, um, significant we other. All right. Well, uh, um, but uh, hey, um, what is it? Shit, what was I looking for? Send the link. Uh, well, um, Todd, I found that uh, I found a halfway decent picture of uh, 
of what's her name. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's all these things. Okay. Which one do you want me to click? Okay. Rob's got like that's super sexy. Yeah. Um, Todd's got like a freaking knock. I'm going with Todd. Like I got all these choices. Oh, look at that Todd though. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at that. Look at the profile. She's perfect. Yep. That's uh shit. What was her name? That is. I can't find uh, Cyborg on Twitter. Who? I can't Cyborg find Cyborg Mockery. Oh. What if I sent uh, Shay the link? Do, 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 would would do, 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 Cyborg do, 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 get it? Uh, maybe. I don't know if she's if she's if she's watching. Um, I don't know Cyborg. What is this lady's name? Oh my god! Doesn't matter what her name is. She's hot. Is it Barbara something? Barbara yeah, Stanwyck. I, I, yeah, I had it. I just I lost it. You know, and I, I mean, have those, to say something. Those Star Trek outfits. I mean, oh, yeah. That, that's the bomb right there. Yeah, I used to have a whole book on the costume design, and it's like 80% of it was like the women costumes. Yeah. I have to say, yeah. I have a theory about like big earrings, and usually that's a tell that a woman's <laughs> crazy. Um, this is the rare exception. Wait, what she could be still crazy. crazy. Yeah, How did the story go? Crazy. I don't know which episode this was is. Was this was this the thing where the, their timeline was speeded up and they, yeah, they no, could only uh, hear No, the this bugs? one I this one I think is the one where it was the if I'm remembering correctly, it was the people that there was there were people that lived in the sky and there were people that lived on the ground and people oh, on the ground had, yeah, like, yeah, had yeah, to mine that that, the that sky had the cloud lives. Yeah, they, and they had to like mine the ore that would keep the cities floating, but yep. it would cause it would cause them to go crazy. Yeah, yep. blink of an eye. Is yeah, also so or... she was crazy. I was right. Well, no, it was the people on the ground were. Yeah, oh, she made the, them crazy with because the exposure big to the mineral caused them to do that. But no, well, yeah, dude, she made Kirk crazy. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk friggin' took the king at gunpoint and made him mine. So I would yeah, for her. That's, I remember this episode now. Yeah, would you guys kill for this woman? Oh, with well, the she's dead now. So, with a phaser it, for sure. Would you send? <laughs> imagine for what we could do with phasers. I, I would think. I would think Sydney Sweeney would fit in that outfit real nice. Yeah, Droxine is her name. Oh wait, I, I think I know one. Yvonne Craig was the um the that's the green the green right, right. yeah she was uh, right. the Orion slave girl. Yeah. Yep, and I've got those pulled up too. Yeah, Diane okay. Ewing is the name of the lady that we were just looking at. All right, well, we uh, we Von got Craig we got a girl. We got a guest on. Von Von Craig. Yay! All right, we got uh, <laughs> we got Cyborg Valkyrie. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Shay's actually on her way, driving from Maryland to my house right now. So, oh wow, Did yeah. you, man, she she, she friggin' she 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 commutes with you guys a lot. Uh, it's about a four and a half hour drive. It was more rough when I lived in Florida. So yeah, but uh, oh, dude, I got a that's a pretty good picture of Yvonne Craig. Okay, so so uh, Cyborg uh, Valkyrie is going to come in and clean up um, the trash. And what? put the show, put the show on a straight and narrow. Can can he be in charge of like you know the tech stuff? Sure. Finding the finding <laughs> I, the hottie hot hotters. I, I think we got too many my hotties. Channel from a Chromebook for the first year, so uh, yeah. So open image. Okay. Terry Farrell is real pretty too. I think I should have held out for more than two dollars though. <laughs> I want my two dollars. I, I want my two dollars. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Tony Dash is going to come through for his two dollars. What is this? Uh, is that supposed to be Marilyn Monroe or is this Marlene, Marlene, Marlene Monroe versus Marlene Janice Monroe Rand. versus Janice Rand? Oh, Janice Rand, who dude. wins the no fight? No way! No way! Shut the hell Marlena up! Marlene Monroe was so hot. Yeah, but you're not going to let anybody in for a dollar ninety nine. It's got to be two bucks. Yeah, round it up. <laughs> Chris has spoken. Chris knows his shit. Come on. Yeah. Hang on Listen a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, we lose I've, got, somebody? Okay, I've got a picture of Marlena Monroe. Hang on a minute. Janice Rand had a weird face, especially in uh, the motion picture. Janice, well, now I have okay, to see that. Just, yeah, I'm talking about when she was Yeoman Rand. Yeoman Rand. She was basically Kirk's side piece. You know, all I know is is, uh, is she Rob Hunter keeps side knocking piece. him out of the park, and I never click on his stuff. Where's the green lady you just had, Rob? Oh, oh from the pilot. Here. Right here. 
Yeah, while you guys movie. are looking up the other girl, we're gonna we're I gonna sidetrack. It. Well, the story with Yeoman Rand, though, is that according to Shatner's biography, is that the the woman, the actress, mm -hmm. was like a fucking sex fiend, and she got uh, fired because Whitney? she was banging all the married dudes on the set. Yeah, that that chick is hot. This is Marlena this chick... Monroe. Okay. Okay. She's a yeah. cutie. She looks kind of like she could play Psycho really easy, though. Bring okay. bring up a picture of her from uh, Mirror Mirror. Wasn't that Marlena Monroe? I think so. Yes. All the best women from Star Trek are in the '60s, though. No. They... <laughs> Traditional beauty, yes. Traditional beauty. Yeah. They, they had it in spades. Yeah, back when All we right. used to eat meat so... and you know. The when, when women used to eat meat, are yeah. you kidding me? <laughs> Trying to no find one's gonna, no one's gonna, you know, jump on that one. Don't even do my meat. When women used to enjoy their protein, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I damn all right. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find a good one of her from Mirror. Well, Mirror. well hey, I just have to say thank, thanks, thanks, Tony, thanks, Tony, guy. for the super chat. Even though we were saying you know round up, but I do appreciate. Um, so, so this is the, this is the, uh, Marlena Monroe, right? Yeah, this is Marlena Monroe. This is, she's a little cutie. She, she could possibly go crazy on you. Uh, so who's this Janice Rand? All right. Give me a second. Yeoman I'll pull Rand. her up. Yeoman Rand. So, so where this is like, uh, versus like in a physical match or just as far as beauty? Uh, I'm saying as far as, as hotness is concerned, cause I don't give a shit if she could fight. <laughs> Since when, Bob? You're the WrestleMania guy. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is this is Rand. Oh no, I don't like this. Girl. Hang on, her hang hair. on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Her hair's weird. Look at this that. is her as well. Okay, I I approve. Okay, no, <laughs> that's I'm her and Bonanza. A picture of, yep. of Marlena Monroe. I don't think those are real. That's crazy. Look at that hair is weird. Well, it's, dude, it's the freaking 50s and 60s. What the hell you want? I think she's weird. Dude, she's a that's, long time that's, 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 a, that's a sexy woman right there. There is some scaffolding under that shirt. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah well, there's, that, you know, there's some construction going sometimes on Sometimes man-made is better. <laughs> okay. She's got but. the legs there, and, and the figure is good. I can't – that beehive, what is that? That's weird. She has a, a pineapple on her head. That Star she does Trek, have a man. pineapple on her head. Who's that Asian guy? Sulu. Yeah. Who? Uh, so, uh, Sulu. You know. Oh, my. Unmute <laughs> that. Yeah. All right. The, uh, the, the queen works. of bad takes on Twitter. That's who that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of bad takes on Twitter. If it wasn't for the oh my, I would have no idea who okay. that guy is. So you guys got, think you think Marlena Monroe is better than Janice? I Rand. got Marlena Monroe in a shared screen. You can see Belly. There you go. Uh, oh. She's in bed. Okay. Oh, well, this see, is I, I, one I found that, that pick. I don't but, know, man. I think the other girl's probably prettier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there's this, no accounting for shot, taste art. This, yeah, this yeah, shot, I don't know. If you're gonna if you're gonna go to the mirror universe, you have to go to Paul. Because then they, they let her have a real hair and better outfit. Yeah, that's true. The the, the mirror universe of the ball, he actually did have her long hair. Okay, can we can we talk about Scott Bakula in the mirror mirror universe for a second? Because you cannot get okay. Bill Shatner might be a hammy actor because he did Shakespeare right before uh, uh, original series. But no one can beat Scott Bakula's ham when he was trying to do the evil Jonathan Archer. Dude, I was laughing my ass off. That was hideous. It was so bad. <laughs> I recoiled. It, that was almost. That was almost. Uh, was it with uh, uh, Tommy uh, Wisu, the friggin' the room guy? Oh my god, that, that was almost that level of bad. Listen, Wait a minute, Shad, who's Shad, this? That was an awesome. Ooh, animal. you know who that is? Seven that's uh, Gary Ryan. That's Gary Ryan. Ryan's on someone else's body. That's seven of nine. With whose body? That's Jerry Ryan's head on someone else's body. Is it really? Oh, yep. No, it isn't. Y yes, it is. Leave Don't it to Todd. God's dreams. Yeah, leave it to Todd to mess everything I up. I don't know. I've got I've got plenty of pictures of her. Trust oh, me. Oh, plenty. Yeah, here we go. Well, yeah. Well, she looks like she's... Wait, what's the one where she's reclining? See, that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what those bumps on her abdomen are. Yeah, that's a real one right there. 
What that's what a real one. Ab women are. Yeah. You can kind of tell because the way oh, her she's got going. pointy ab muscles. Her tip Weird. spread. Oh, you're talking about uh, that was her costume from uh, Star Trek Voyage. Yeah, that, oh, the, okay. the, yeah, it had the, this rib weird rib thing. Yeah. It oh, was, did it? Okay. For your it was, pleasure. It was basically <laughs> steel boning in the costume, but yeah, um, it was supposed did to. Did you say steel implant. boning in the costume? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And, oh. <laughs> the funny part about that costume was it was so tight in the ribs and around her neck with that collar that they gave it that she would actually pass out on set. Oops. Yeah, you know they did that on purpose, right? It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's seven of nine, man. That's the one that everyone go. That's everyone's go to. All right, uh, Eric. Six, Eric nine? is thanking uh, me and Clint. I'm not sure exactly what for. Is it for exactly the costume helped uh, sell the original show? No doubt. I don't know. And what is this mirror, mirror, bonehead thing? See, I'm I'm not even hip on it. Oh, they're talking about the mirror universe. universe. The mirror mirror universe. universe. Yeah. So is is okay. a bonehead? Is that one of the like Klingons or something? <laughs> the the Federation Are... dominated the everyone else. Yeah, the bonehead was under yeah. the rule of the Federation. Is that where they really got the cone heads from? Because the cone heads are like aliens, right? There's a good picture, Jerry Ryan. Um. If you, is this a real picture of her, uh, or is this one. like made up? Bring up, bring up my screen. You'll see Jerry Ryan in the wild, out yeah. at uh, out at the beach. Yep. Ooh. She was you. She she was hot, man. Very. Yeah. I and then uh, then they brought her. Yeah, and and like every guy, every guy, like she started out uh, like romancing Ensign Kim on Voyager, and then she ends up with Jacote, and then they bring okay. her back from Picard and they make her a lesbian. You, you want to hear the funny yeah. part about her romance with Chakotay? It, it was a bone the producers threw Robert Beltran. Yeah. Because What's they did. What's with didn't... you and bones? Hey, bones are great. <laughs> because um, they didn't do anything with this character, really. And yeah. so they were bone. trying to basically bribe him into staying for the last season. Yeah. But, All right. Uh, Pablo, yeah. Pablo's doing a lot of like taking off people's clothes here um <laughs> but he, he's a pretty does, good man. artist so i think you guys should go check out pablo romero art and see what uh what he's talking about here it is one of those type of shows wait wait yvonne craig you know we, we should just tease this whole thing yvonne craig will be the last uh girl it's that so we dysfunctional show. everything's a tease it yeah. is and it works for my my pleasure. Yeah, you made four bucks. For the rest I of got a young... four bucks. Yeah. Oh, I, got I just made some more gray. money. It only costs you your dignity by having me on art. Uh, well, every day that I go Wait. on live stream, what, costs what, what'd you say, dignity. Ty? <laughs> dignity. I got a young Jean Gray here. I've... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um. Oh wait, she was on the F show. Champion Jansen. Yeah, she was on uh, the. Uh, what was the episode called? The uh, the perfect. Oh man. Mate or something like that. Are the spots on her trail? Yeah, because she got imprinted on for whoever, and then she imprinted on Riker at the end. Yeah, yeah, which almost yeah, like that was the whole thing was like because like Riker, Riker was the stud character in the show. Yeah. He, he was the Kirk. Didn't was she he try number to one on Picard though? She, I think Riker? she tried, but it it ended up failing. Was Riker oh, yeah, the number one guy? Like him. he was like the Kirk character. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Riker was like Riker was like the like the 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 Kirk. Kind of like especially that. in first because they they had season. two they had two like characters right one and they were both like captains so you had like the no, intellectual no. and then you had the guy that was more no you had physical, Picard right? who was the captain and and uh, Riker was the first officer yeah, yeah one yeah. was he all split the Kirk oh, personality into two characters yeah they kind of split Picard, the, the character and, yeah Picard was like the uh, like this is this erudite you know very very fastened down uh, guy and then Riker was kind of like the stud. Yep. Yeah, one guy was the brain, and the other one was the brawn. Pretty much. <laughs> you care of things with your fists. The Riker maneuver. The Riker he, maneuver. He was, he was so what? tall, he would step over top of his chairs to sit down. Is that the Riker remove? That's the Riker maneuver. <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? What is this? That's Jerry Ryan, man. Yeah. That looks heavily photoshopped. Yeah. That's it's your not. new. That's your new captain of the new Enterprise. That was Are you serious? A, a yeah, in the, in the, the last series, season of Picard, she becomes the captain of the Enterprise. Is it the F or the G? The uh, it's G. the G. Yeah, because the F was the, was that piece of shit that they made for the game. It was destroyed in the end. 
I think yeah. that railing is the only thing holding those clothes on. Yes. That railing can suck the pipe then. <laughs> <laughs> we are anti-railing on this. Well, we are anti-railing. Anti-stairs anti railing on this. Or anti-boning. <laughs> There's a lot of boning in that costume right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's yeah, yeah, um, there needs to be. She said, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the the parts that I'm the captain. I'm the captain. <laughs> That's what people forget. She played, uh, was it in, uh, was it Bond, uh, Goldeneye? It was mm -hmm. when Famke Jansen really got famous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling you know, Bruce she's Bros just, like, incredibly world. tall. Like, photos are kind of a disservice to her. Like, you really have to. She's really statuesque, yeah, as she, they say. Man, she was, she was man, she was, uh, she was smoking hot when she was young. So is she on a top? Yes. Yeah, she, she she that's the character. Her character's name was on a top. In Bond, um, yeah. In Bond, yeah. yeah. She yeah, basically she, she she killed that one guy by uh um by strangling him with her thighs. Mm -hmm. Oh, is she, she right. Russian? He couldn't breathe. Yeah, yeah, he had he, a heart yeah. Attack. yeah. Squeezed he died, with, died with a giant. You no, know, no, he died from the giant smile on his face and broke his freaking brain. Broke All his right. brain. <laughs> how, how do you guys feel about uh on a tops? She's all right, you guys. No, I mean, as far as Bonky? positions. Oh, that's oh, none I, of your business. Eh. <laughs> How dare you? And or the river. How dare you? <laughs> and yes, Raffi is a garbage character. <laughs> I, I like I, I like the uh, the line that I just crossed with um, with Rob. Like he was very <laughs> stern about that. He was mm -hmm. not happy, and uh, he put me right back in my place. So I apologize. Oh. I accept your apology. Our, I know where the place, line is drawn now, and I will not cross it. Your place is in the garden with torn jeans. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a callback, you guys. Yeah. I did pretty good in that wrestling match with uh, ripped jeans. Yeah. I think I made it all the way to the very end. Who put those things together, those wrestling matches? Uh, was it 666, or was it... Um... Yeah, 6 a.m. I don't know, but he didn't. 6 a.m. I think, it, yeah. so. I'm terrible yeah. with names. Fun yeah, stuff. Shay and I were a tag team. Did you kick ass? I made it all the way to the finals. I think we did. When Shay went in as a single, um, she just kept like laying down randomly. Like she'd, she'd do like a bunch of killer moves and then she'd get tired and then just <laughs> sit on the side. Bored. Is she a narcoleptic, do you think? Apparently. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, here's Here's one that we haven't talked about yet. Oh, what's with that funky smile, though? That's sure leave. That, that yeah, this, this, oh, yeah, this oh, is the uh, the uh, Emily happened. Banks. Uh, yeah. From I like the hair Courtney. and everything. The makeup's cool. Um, that mouth is mm. weird. The smile. She looks weird. This that, is my I, least seen original series episode. That's a good episode. It's a good it's episode. Uh, best episode, in my opinion, though, is friggin' um, Balance of Terror. Wait a minute! Is her yeah, top ripped? Great... Is she is she pulling up her top right there? What's happened? A little bit. She's she's kind of. It's uh. This was the one with the um, where they were having the hallucinations, right? Well, this is a pleasure planet, no. and they didn't know it, and they beamed down, and so right. whatever they were thinking about kept materializing, like right. um, bones. Right. But it was being manufactured underground. Yeah. Right. Bones was Alice in Wonderland. So. Yeah, Kirk uh, was it Finnegan, the guy that kept. Yeah, yeah. Finnegan. Yeah. The, best, uh, the guy the that like bullied him, bullied him in, at Starfleet. Yeah, yeah. That fight Academy. scene was fucking epic. They they fight yeah. for so long that they go on a commercial break and come back and they're still fighting. There was a yeah, chick fight in there. I mean, it wasn't yeah, as long as the like Gorn a ten fight. Ten minute fight scene. <laughs> well, the Gorn. The Gorn. <laughs> it's because the Gorn only moved about three miles an hour. Well, hey, I got somebody that was voted number two best looking Star Trek woman of. Oh shit. That's Leslie Parrish. She was in the Adonis episode, yep. you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the one he was after. God, what was wow. That? I think this might be the uh, the most attractive so far. Wow, that's pretty stunning. Yeah, she was this really the, yeah. quite a beauty. Who mourns for Adonis? Who mourns for Adonis? Who mourns yeah, for Adonis, Adonis, right? Uh, episode thirty-three in season. <laughs> Who yeah. mourns for Adonis? Sulu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever watch? Um, wait, wait a minute. Who did you? Who did you say, Chris? Sulu. Oh my! <laughs> Don't you unmute that so we can hear him say, "Oh my!" I I hear it. I yeah, hear really? it. Hear it. 
Yeah. No, I just see there's a button that says tap. To okay. <laughs> that's I'm gonna that's mute you, you while while it, the video is it, playing. That's like behind your screen. I can't get to that. Okay, Art. Here's Adonis. Okay. In my share uh, screen, and Sulu is definitely mourning him. Oh my! Oh, giant. Oh my! <laughs> yeah. Um, that looks like you... that guy plays Loki. He was, was awesome the, um, on that show, uh, actually. He's good on that episode. What was Man. the fan series that they did? It was like a really big fan series. Yes, like, yes. Vic Mignogna um, did it. Vi yeah, Vic the... Mignogna did, was, played Kirk, and it was it was it was supposed to be like what, yeah. what Phase Two was going to be, and they actually yeah. got the actors from a lot of these shows to come back. They and this got guy him came to back. come back. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good episode. Yeah, um, I just want to say one thing. This is a critique about the set design. I've seen better sets in high school. You know, well, that's the plays. budget they're working with. This is a weekly show. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they painted no the, this, this is bad. Painted it like eighteen different, different colors every week. Yeah, but also when they remaster it, like you know, the, the brilliance of Star Trek uh -oh. backgrounds, and then they put lights on them to make them different to save money. Yeah, but uh, but when, on the remastered episodes, they actually put they dropped in like you know. Like uh, CG, like back, like sets. Oh, that's cool. They were yeah. the special yeah. effects too. Yeah. You um, know what my favorite is? The there's, there's a channel. There's a channel. I can't remember it now, but this guy finds like backgrounds and stuff like that that are like relics or props from other shows. Like in the '60s, like the Bat Cave has like you know, like Lost in Space elements, like pieces yeah, from that yeah, show. Yeah. And Lost in Space has, you know, Land of the Giants sets and all kinds of like mix and match stuff. It's pretty, it's mm -hmm. pretty cool to watch. Like, and he'll he'll kind of like zoom in on these elements, and you go, yeah, sure enough, that's uh, the robots, the top of his head in the in the background yeah. in one of the Bat Cave scenes. Yeah. There's a there's a better pick of Billy Parish in that Star Trek episode. Is this there's a re there's a revolver? Oh yeah. my, is this the one that I, I said have was the same one brought up right yeah. now? There's a there's a revolver on Columbo that's oh silenced, God. and which doesn't work for revolvers. It would just like that that just wouldn't be functional. And um, well, it wouldn't silence anything because you well, have first a of all, it screws there. into the barrel instead of onto the barrel, so that, that yeah. right there would just make it a hand grenade, you know. But a revolver has like the you know the wheel and everything. It's not going to contain anything. It's not going to silence anything. But um, but that gun is on Starsky and Hutch. Like, like every CBS fucking show, cop show. Like, yeah, dude. I, I, yeah, I, I, he was I, on Batman, by the way, Leslie Parrish. Yeah. What what character was she? Oh, she was one of the Egyptian chicks, right? With uh, uh, King uh, Tut. She, I don't know. Well, she was in the episode the the Penguins of Jinx. So I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, Todd, do some work. We need to see that image. Well, I'm going to share. I, I mean, the thing is, oh shit! What's up? The thing right. is, oh, Rob. Shit. Rob's had this thing up forever. So, uh, so why did they give her that haircut, though? I mean, the other one looks so much better. Oh no, she was. Uh, she played uh, Mr. Freeze's uh, girl, Glacia. Oh, do you have? Do you have an image? I think I know. Yeah. Right. Hang on. What right she here. looked like. Uh. Duh, 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 duh. The cool, cruel Mr. Freeze. By the way, uh, so Paul's hair came down in later episodes. Yeah, it did. Yeah, when oh, she started, uh, she started doing the romance thing with uh, Tucker. Yeah, when she started doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if that's what it takes, then I'm all about it. Sniffing blue dust. Yeah. Dude, don't hey, knock it until you try it. Weird. Yeah. Uh, when I first met Rob, that's what he was doing. He was sniffing blue dust. Yeah. That makes I sense. Still do it. Present. I still do it. Only she, part time, yeah. though. That's her. Yeah. That's what she was in uh, the Batman show. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh, so she. Yeah, was... This this woman was obviously pissed off when Elizabeth Montgomery got that role as uh, <laughs> as be, in, on Bewitch. Like, you want to hear imagine? something? She was up for that role. Yeah, I know. I know. I I I'm psychic. <laughs> was she really? She really was. Yeah. Oh man. I came across that as I was looking for her. Because I'm thinking she's got all the same kind of characteristics of uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, right? The little upturned nose and... 
Look at that. Mr. Freeze was a lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell us how you really are. A TV show from 40 years ago. 40 <laughs> years ago? No way, man. Longer. 50, Elizabeth 60? Montgomery is in the first episode of uh, 60. Uh, Twilight Zone. And she's wearing a very Star Trek type outfit. It's the oh. mini skirt with the boots and and uh, okay. Earl you know Holloman is the the guy in that episode. But I think it's like yeah. the pilot. You know what Star Trek actress that everyone Twilight like Zone. Yeah. everyone talks about like, like oh she's real hot and everything and I don't think she is Chase Masterson. I've met her. Who yeah, plays? She's uh, all right. Yeah, she plays uh what's it on Deep on Deep Space Nine. Uh, yeah, Lisa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's a the Davo girl. A, the Davo so, girl. Yeah, and I'm like funny story. Oh, eh. oh yeah. I was at a con in Florida, and I was in the uh, costume contest. That's uh, Alice. What what's her face? Um, Alice Eve. Um, yeah, yeah, she's so, smoking. Um, we won the judges prize for the costume contest, and I was uh, dressed up as Dana Scully from the X Files. It was the nineties. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Chase Masterson actually picked me up and hugged me, <laughs> like off my feet. She, she that tall? Um, I'm five seven. So. Oh, okay. And then, and then, uh, you know, maybe she doesn't want this out there, but she came up to uh, my room for uh, a party at the convention and uh, was hanging out in the bed in my con room. So. Sweet, Sweet baby Christmas. Okay, oh. how do we feel about this chick? Okay, this chick. Is from the movie, right? The yeah. uh, that's Chris that's Fine that's the new that's the uh, stuff, right? yeah that's the reboot version of Carol Marcus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this okay. Yeah. When I saw this in the movie, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like Kirk's like, yep, yeah, we are gonna make a baby. <sighs> they did right in the, how, in the in yeah. the series or something, right? No, in, in, yeah, in the original in the original movie. That's uh, that's trilogy. how David came to be. Uh... Yeah, yep. David Marcus, and he lasted two movies. Yeah, Merrick <laughs> Buttrick. Yeah, he was the scientist guy that made the. Uh, the Genesis him and his mother created his the mother. Genesis device. Yeah, the Genesis device. That, yeah. uh, oh wait, you know there's Spock. another Star Trek thing with uh, he's he gets killed by Leonard Nimoy on Columbo. He's a yeah. He's he's uh, yeah. a victim. In, in Star Trek Three, he gets killed by uh, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd, yeah, he gets right. killed by Doc Brown. Mm. <laughs> no, actually, it was a grunt. Sorry. Oh, and that's right. Yeah, he, he gets he gets killed on his order. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then Kirk kicks him in the face. Yeah, because he's had enough of him. Yeah, I've had enough of him. Yep. And That's then the uh, was it uh, was it Dan Dan Fielding is the only Klingon that survives. Yep. <laughs> it's like they got every head. tall, Dude. popular actor to play a Klingon, and and like Christopher Lloyd and, and uh, uh, Laura Kett were were more than happy to do it. Yeah, it's funny. You got two comedic actors that are playing these badass Klingon dudes. There's Denise Crosby. It was the short yeah. hair. Yeah, she she looked. What was the movie? God, That's a there was man, a movie baby. with um with um Robert Downey Jr. She looks decent in a bikini. Oh yeah, well, she had a great body. Um, there was a movie I can't remember what it was. It was she was uh, in Playboy. With, huh? Yeah, she was in Playboy. Yeah, yeah, she was in Playboy. So yeah. Um, All right, but, uh, Rob, get on it. We need she was to see in, photos. Uh, skin deep for John Ritter. <laughs> yeah, you got John, the internet now. Yeah. Let's see it. She was you, pretty hot in that. She played the mayor of Key West the, in Key the West. Better photos, yeah. I. I was trying she to was, share. Um, she was the mom in the original pet. Share them now. Yes, she was. She was. <sighs> Which, she, she came back missing that too. Yeah. I've been sharing. Dude, I, I tell you what, man. Green for, girl. Marina Sirtis never did anything for me. No, Is she that didn't. the dark hair she didn't. or the red hair? Yeah, yeah that's you, the I've dark seen her one. topless. She was so floppy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what? So oh, what? no. At was another she, Florida was con. she in your room too? No, at another no. Florida con, she was on stage and I was um, up in front of the front row because I was taking pictures and she was wearing a skirt. And at that moment, she decided to very quickly walk to the front of the stage. And all you saw, all the audience saw was this glow up between her legs because she walked forward too quickly and it, my flash activated and it just illuminated inside her skirt. And she just turned and looked at me and she was like, you cheeky little bugger. God, you're such a geek. Hey, I got someone here. <laughs> what we got? What do you got? Ah, uh, what? what is that? Oh, that's uh, that that that's not Aunt Margaret, is it? No, that's no, the it's... needle wolf. Whoa, what? Yeah. Sharing a bunch of old lady 
pictures? What is happening? How dare you? Hot oh. women back in Star Trek, man. What are you talking she about? She was in uh, episode um, Decade. The Squire Decade. of Gothos. Yeah. You know why they buried this one? Because she's hotter than all the rest. To, to be honest, I don't remember her character from that. And I, I was going to say, Jelaine. I don't remember a female being on the Squire of Gothos, unless it's like a. a she was a no name ensign, probably. That like was on the ocean. She was, uh, yeah, she was. Um, he, he was dancing with her or something. Yes. He? He yeah, was so she's like a real her. minor character. She was in yeah. a gown and. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she yeah. was painted green, so you didn't recognize her. No, she was. <laughs> they all get painted green eventually. <laughs> At some point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like Goldfinger, but green. Okay, yeah, that's how you tell already. the really hot ones when they're painted green. Oh. See if I can find a good. Uh, yeah, okay. Do you think that one dancer in Harry Star Wars Farrell. that was painted green was pretty? I didn't think she was pretty. Are you talking about the Twi'lek dancing in Jabba's palace? Yeah, that was weird. I didn't like her. She was I didn't like any. That's just because of the way they made her look in that, though. Yeah, and none of those band members were cool either. <laughs> they all look like a Arch, bunch of idiots. Star Wars sucks, man. Arch <laughs> eyeballing <laughs> the piano player. <laughs> what was there? There was like a blue like elephant or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I bet that Heffalump. chick's hot under that costume. <laughs> he got here's, away here's from she, Winnie the yeah. Pooh. Here's what she looked like in that episode. All right, wait. I almost folks. clicked on the wrong one. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Wait, that's that same girl. That's she looks the same like a one. gimp right here. Dopey. It's the hair, man. <laughs> gimp. Look Dude, I'm her. telling you, man. It's, it's like it was something with the hair. Like like Gene Roddenberry. Gene Roddenberry had a thing for for beehive hairdos and stuff. Well, they were reusing oh wigs and shit that they had lying that, around. That's true. Studio. I mean, it's all just, hair extensions. Yeah, they're just nowadays. making the most of what they have. Yeah, it looks like something that would be in like uh, some kind of vintage like. Uh, yeah. You know, ball gown. Kirk's like, like, Kirk, look, at, look, Kirk's like, gotta cover the tent pole. Ugh. He's got, <laughs> he's got one of those box boxes of candies right there. He's trying to figure out which one he likes. Kirk, you just take a little, yeah. Kirk you just take like a little bite out of each one. Squeeze one out, shift into the side, so yeah, it's I'm not in there. Oh, that's the face <laughs> she's making. She's smelling it. <laughs> And you know what she's saying? She goes, you smelled it. You dealt it. Yeah. She's like, this had better be worth a promotion. Kirk is bad, worth bad candy. <laughs> Elevating the culture. <laughs> of the I will you know, I will, I will know I will give Enterprise, though, man. They did have the hottest Orion slave girls. Yeah, Enterprise had, was actually underrated, I think. Well, you know what? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. It, it tied back to the first show, I think, more than any other show. Especially when you get to like season three and four, and they like a season four, especially they knew they were going to get like chopped, so they threw fucking everything at you know like they. I'm telling you that and Dorian lesbian and, scene between Jolene Blaylock and uh, yeah. whoever the chick was that played Roshi and yeah, yeah oh the right. Asian the communication yeah, girl the blue no, no 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 the no, not no. not um uh, Soshi the no. uh, the Hoshi, alien. Yeah. The yeah. Hoshi, the alien that like uh, was scanning them via touch, and she was trying to seduce everybody. And you oh. don't remember that? Yeah, no, no I, I don't remember any of the specific episodes. I, I named so my dog anymore. Hoshi after fucking the mirror mirror universe. Uh, yeah. Hoshi, fucking Empress. Wow. When 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 Enterprise Nerd. are doing yeah. their own <laughs> shit. Hoshi. When Enterprise started doing their own shit instead of trying to like 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 do like the Borg and shit like that, when they started doing their own stuff, that's when it actually started getting pretty good. Well, you know what? I'm starting I, to I think like I need to tune into some of the Star Trek stuff because this is I thought there would be maybe be like five or six girls. Like there's a ton. Yeah, here's here's Our, what the Orion slave girls look like. Th there'd be more Enterprise. if you knew how to work the clicker over there. <laughs> the clicker. <Yeah. laughs> well, who's who said my name? So was it you, Simon? <laughs> Well, I'm I'm sharing the uh, attempted lesbian scene from Enterprise. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say one thing. It's gonna cost you two dollars. <laughs> yeah, that so was that. Is, one, that was this one a rape scene. Curly hair. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? What is happening? Are, are you drinking? <laughs> Not enough. But. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude, so Enterprise what's going on here? So so this is what. This My is strokes are almost to completion. Yeah. Whoa. This is oh, a. This yeah. is when T. Paul is in pajamas for half the season, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. They always they kept showing her in her her P 
PJs. PJs. Yeah. So she gone totally mental. It's a Vulcan she's, thing, man. She's a mental thing. All right. She was, she was always Clint meditating. is being very quiet. So we got this. So what is this now? This Number is the one. movies, right? That is no, the strange new world. Thing. The new Stranger Worlds number yeah, one. Oh God! This yeah, and this is a couple of hotties in it too. It's all right. How dare I like? I do like. I do like Anson Mount as. That's as, exactly uh, the part Rebecca that I like. Romaine Stamos has uh, aged like fine wine. So and that's that, Romaine Stamos. Yeah, yeah. That's so no Stamos anymore. And then that just that Romaine. thing standing next to her is supposed to be Spock. I wish someone would. Yeah, Mister. I like science. Yeah. Mr. So you don't like that guy? Tournament. My favorite person in the world. No, we got to get like, another shot of this it, though. Like that, that up shot is like Star Trek back onto the correct course. Yeah, Thank STD. You. Yeah, STD. What? Um, Art, I've got the next uh, image you want to show. Yep, but do do we have a better shot of uh, of what's her face here? Re Rebecca Romaine? No, Rebecca. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could pull up uh, pictures of when she was playing Mystique. No, from the show. <laughs> What's her no, name? Is, okay, I'll, so, I'll do it myself. Let, let me ask, let they me ask haven't done any scantily clad stuff. They won't do that in this generation. They won't do that in that version of the show. Yeah. Now I have a question though. Are we gonna are we talking about how hot they were on in Star Trek or how hot they are? Period. No, it's gotta be in Star time. Trek. Yeah. Okay. Because then that's I gonna was... change a lot because there's a lot of them that were hot as hell outside of it. And then, then, uh, if that's the case, then I can look at the Ewan and Rand thing and be like, all right, I get the idea. Well, no, it's in Star Trek. Oh, there's better shots of her. Yeah, she's still she's still got some looks. How old is she? She's got to be well into her forties. Uh, oh, she's more than that. I she's she's got to be beyond that. Yeah, she looks older than that. Do you think she's fifty? I'm trying to think yeah, of the first thing easy. I, I know her from. She still looks good if she's 50. Uh, she is 51. Wow. There Same you go. age as me. Holy shit. Yeah. So you could be dating person. her right now, Bob. You're younger than me. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. I'm not John Stamos. She's John, not she's John not John Stamos, Stamos anymore, anymore, right? No, but uh she Didn't was we established that oh, Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. Married to Jerry O'Connell. Yeah, they've been yeah. making babies. Stand by me. Yep. Well, that's what happened. You, you don't want to talk about a dude that went from being a dumb you little back kid, Wesley Crusher. You know, you talk about you know, like like uh, Jerry O'Connell, man. That dude went from being a dumpy little shit to being like leading man material. I thought he was. So is this Rebecca? Sliders. I did too. He was leading man material on sliders. Sliders, yeah. Right. <laughs> Especially on sliders, he just he just came off as gay. <laughs> didn't he? Who didn't think he was gay? He loved the science. The I thing is, he is, he is, if I was that actually black dude on sliders, I would have kicked that guy's ass so many freaking times for <laughs> dragging me off of my home world to all these shitty worlds. Yeah, Professor <laughs> Arturo, was it? Uh, yeah, um, Gimli. Yeah. <laughs> Every Gimli. image I'm finding, it won't allow me to download. <laughs> well, it's green rabbit. Who are you trying to find? Rebecca Stamos? Yeah. Oh, Rebecca Romain? Yeah, hang on. Ro I'll get no something. Romaine, just no, oh no Stamos. No, it's no Stamos. Yeah. No Stamos. You can and Romaine, but you cannot Stamos. Trick. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, present something. I'm gonna class up this place. Oh really? Oh, oh God! Yeah. I was sure hey. it's going off the rails. Yeah, picture of a dog. Uh, turn. I'm I'm trying to save Clint's pick. So this I've got is, a, this is a, a, the Romaine Stamos a, a, a. chicks. She's still better than any of the next gen women. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I pulled up the next cool. gen just because they were so plain. Who is she playing on that? Because I haven't seen uh, Stranger Worlds. She she's playing, like she's playing she's a one. character that's been established. She's uh, playing she number one. one. Like, like Pike's yeah. episodes from the Cage, I think yeah, it was. She's playing number okay. one. Yeah, yeah she's playing she's number one. one. Really? So that's why I didn't know that, and I could tell from the picture, though. Yeah. We just said the chicks from Star Trek Next Gen are plain. I did. Well, they're, they're okay. all ladies. You know. I'm about to I, share there's something. A, there's a better picture of her right there, Art. That'll that'll kind of save it a little bit. Wait, 
this so one here? Troy, Troy's okay. mom. That's an Troy's mom right? is the original number that's one what, from the cage, right? That's that's one of the promotional pieces they use for the show. Yeah, yeah this is a pretty like, cool little visual yeah. image. This is like uh, like a like cool old school, you know, like uh, sci-fi illustration. Unfortunately, they didn't stick with that that type of. I was going to say right? that uniform would have looked cool if they used it on the show. Yeah, yeah they, they, but yeah, unfortunately, but. Once again, so I'm going to have the to... Marjorie, whatever that was played the Major original Barrett, Rod Barrett, one. Was Major Barrett, 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 uh, it's definitely Mirror Universe because they got the midriff showing. I'm I'm going to guess that that's a costume from the Star Trek Online game. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. That'd be so a new you, season of Star Trek. Yeah, you want to you want to sell games is what you do, all right? You just, it's just the character you just follow her around for I can't, you know, minutes. And you're talking <laughs> about Star Trek hot chicks I minute. Mean, I can't believe no one's brought up Sarah Silverman. Sarah oh Silverman? What? <laughs> because of the brain rot. She was on Star Trek Voyager. I can't remember. Like I was like, uh, oh, was like, because yeah. she played the the hippie astrophysicist when they yeah. were back in time. Yeah. Time yeah. Zero, I think it was. Has she ever been in anything that she wasn't With totally head, annoying head. in? Nope. No. She's the girlfriend on Steinfeld. Oh, the Kramer's oh. girlfriend for five minutes. And the sad uh, thing Wreck-It is, Ralph. she's got huge. Yeah, Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, she was the uh, she was the, the little candy. <laughs> and, 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 and you know, I don't she, think anybody heard you, Clint. It's she, like you know never she's really a, getting... a, an awful personality ruined huge tits more than Sarah Silverman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's really, she's, she's really, got really a massive good in this. rack. But what was that? She's in the Steel God. Panther video. Steel All Panther. Right. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. She is, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, is she in that? She's yeah. still. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh shit! I might have to look that up. There's some some of their videos are. So I love Steel right. Panther, man. Hilarious. Yeah. yeah, I saw I saw them at House of Blues, Where? and I I saw them before they were Steel Panther. They used to be called the Atomic Punks, and they were uh they were a Van Halen cover band. But I saw I saw them at House of Blues too. So where did you see them? Uh, it was in uh. Anaheim, uh, it was at that Disney Boston. one, yeah. And I got tonight. That's, yeah, they're they're hilarious, man, and they're the real deal. Those guys are actually playing. The records are actually super listenable. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're good. I mean, they can pull it off. My favorite Steel Panther anything is when Kelly Clarkson goes up with them drunk off her fucking ass and wails some GNR. <laughs> and it was like it was All early right. Kelly Clarkson, like right after she won American Idol. Uh, yeah, and those right. guys, they those guys knew what was going on and they played it was, out to the hill. Wasn't that at the whiskey and you, or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah, and you know what else? Like she's got the pipes too. Oh, man. she has the pipes she's, for she's, everything. Yeah. There isn't hey. there isn't gonna be a band that's gonna outplay her her voice. Here's the hottest chick in Star Trek ever, right here. Okay, you're switching. wait. Wait a minute. It's his hand. Okay. Oh my God, Lieutenant Mares from the animated series. No. All you furries, unite! <laughs> she is. She bastard. does have some some like curves. Yeah, this was dude. Dude, actually, the 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 animated series was actually a really cool show. It's considered canon. So. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's canon because they put stuff from the animated show makes it into uh, books and on, on a few things on Enterprise. Yeah, Didn't well, and actually, the the, Cations, the 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 cat people that are in, they were in um, was it the uh, um, Star Trek Five? Star, yeah. No, it was a uh, Star Trek Star Trek uh, Four. No, Five. No, when five. the when four the, the chick gets thrown into the water pool table. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is, this no, the, the the guy, is, the, is this the Funimation stuff? Is this the Funimation stuff? Because Filmation. It, yeah. Filmation. Because they had all the actors do the voices too, yeah. right? So, yeah. Real actors and a lot of the real writers. So th- but, there's um, some good stuff on it. No, actually, uh, but no, the 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 uh, science officer on the Saratoga that gets taken out by the probe, he's supposed to be a Cation. He doesn't look like a Cation, right? But he's no, supposed he to be. Are you yeah. are you talking about her? The one she's talking to, the the. Yeah, 
black captain. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the black captain was talking to the guy, the, the other black when guy. When he said was, thruster controls have been neutralized. Right, right, yeah. right. He sub, he Not that I have all these memorized or anything. Yeah, at all. Well, dude, I used to be able to quote Star Trek 2 word for word. So I used to love to do two, three, and four in one sitting because it can play as one movie. Yeah, yeah. because they, it picks they're all up connected. moment to moment. Like, yeah. What was that? Nicholas Meyer that did all. Yeah, that? Nicholas Meyer. Yeah. He's fucking yeah. Yeah. And Har- was it Har- Harv uh, Harv Harv Bennett? Bennett? Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's the producer. They, they and Harv Bennett, fi- he finally got on screen in Star Trek V as the admiral. That's as like, the, admiral. the only ship in the quadrant. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. like, come on, I need Jim Kirk. <laughs> he's the he's the least. The least military looking dude I've ever seen. Well, come on, Kirk was wearing a shirt that said "Go climb a rock." Oh, Jesus, God, that yeah. There is no Star Trek Five. The only thing I liked about Star Trek Five was no, nothing. Uh, the, the soundtrack. Credits. The soundtrack. The That's credits. It. Soundtrack. The, the credits Doesn't exist. The soundtrack. There is no soundtrack because there is there no is Star soundtrack. Trek Five. Soundtrack. Christ, I hate that movie. <laughs> I saw it in the theater, and I was the only one there. Dude, I threw my freaking drink at the screen and I was like, this is bullshit. Um, I hated that movie. Or right, share mine. This is going to redeem chicks on next gen. Okay. I just want to reiterate, um, you're not the boss of me. For $2, I'm the boss of you for an hour. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Two bucks God hour. damn, okay. man. Are you a cheap date? Fuck. Okay. Oh, what the hell is this? That's what's her name again. Take that Gosh, hair out. Put get put put her put the long hair she had later on, and that's a be- much better picture. It's like ten years before she gets. No, she did she that's even Den- Denise Crosby, isn't it? She yeah. had shoulder length hair all up the way through. Pet what Cemetery. the hell is this? This is her trying to seduce Data. That's yeah. a dude. <laughs> yeah, don't let the tits fool you. Oh shit. That face? Oh my god! Cool. That's Dude. Bing Crosby's granddaughter. That's Bing Crosby's granddaughter. Yeah, Denise. Crosby. Yeah, well, you know he should beat her again. Did she he became a, she became a cannibal on? Uh, That's it. I'm uh, sending you her uh, Playboy pics. Art. Dude, she she, uh, she well put her nice on the show. It might actually redeem her because <laughs> the picture that you just showed looked like a little boy. Like, what drugs about, are bad. Uh, art. Drugs oops. are bad. Oh, okay. So we already talked about Ashley Judd, but I got I do got to show this picture and tell like the why I, she was one of my picks. What so, picture is that? I'm, I'm, like show, I'm sharing it right here. Face. Well, you know what? Before before we do that, I gotta cleanse my palate. <laughs> oh my god, Chris is like I came back for this shit. I know, man. Hey, there's your Yvonne Craig. That's Yvonne Craig. All right, so this is not Yvonne Craig in green. No, nope. but uh, this will this will still this is still the tease. Look at that. She got that gidget haircut though. She was bad girl. With that? Yeah. This is I give you bad girl. Yeah. Ar- okay, Ar- well. Arrogant points like yes, thanks. <laughs> See, there you go. There you okay, go, man. So, oh, I got the guy. Hey, Eric, I like the I like the icon, man. This island Earth is uh. Cyborg Valkyrie gonna redeem himself. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's well, see what? God damn! I thought you. Were I thought you were something. gonna redeem yourself with some playboy. Well, hey, I got um, <laughs> I, I got the, the reason why I got the picture of the reason why I picked Ashley Judd. Because she's adorable. That's why. Yeah, she didn't look like that on the episode. I don't give a shit. She looks like that they for real. Were stuffing a lot into that uniform. Let me tell you. Yep. Let me. Yeah. Yeah. She. uh she got, is this uh, the one that can't sing but is hot out of the just? Yeah, this is the one that can't yeah. sing but was actually a good actor. Okay. That yeah. one that one sister that was a little portly, that chick had a voice and a half, man. Dude, yeah, but her mom was hot and she was. Her mom, yeah, that's her mom 20 years older and she's hotter than her. Because it was a mom-daughter act or something, right? Yeah, oh the, the, the judge, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Oh, look at look, this. Look at yeah. Thank that you, Glenn. The universe. The mirror and universe what, dude, hey, hey, take a look at Michelle Nichols right there, man. She got she got some abs on her, dude. She's really mirror ripped. universe she has outfits an and actresses were way hotter than most Star Trek. The yeah. mirror universe in all the shows is better than the regular universe. So they did mirror universe and Enterprise then too. Yeah. They did oh, mirror yeah. universe Enterprise. They did mirror yeah. universe in Deep Space Nine. I think I gave up on Enterprise. It did it Discovery too. 
mm-hmm. Discovery uh, Mirror Universe was what two seasons? The, the, yeah. Oh, for, um, Disc, uh, Disc, well, I never yeah. watched Discovery. The Mirror I Universe and Disco suck balls, though. It's, it's 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 the woke track, but it, it's some of it's watchable. Like the no, first... no, the special effects are awesome. It's Here's the thing: like movie quality. The first two episodes of Disco were actually pretty good because. She's not the uh, she's not the god character, end all be all, save everybody, better than everybody she, character. She she screws up. You can tell the she was in do, the break, and then she failed upwards. Yeah, she's because yeah. those two episodes, those are two episodes that uh, was it David S. Goyer did. Oh, okay. that's just like comic book industry, you and uh, like and you could tell when they you could tell when they when he <laughs> left and they took over because she went from being a piece of shit that everybody hated to. Yeah. Oh, she's the bestest ever. We love it. She's better than everybody. Someone it, watches it, it, Doomcock. It. What's that? <laughs> Someone watches Doomcock. Oh, no, dude. I no. That was that was my impression. I, 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 the first two episodes, I'm like, okay, this isn't too bad and everything. And then the third episode, I was like, well, I'm done. I'm I out. just ignore the social justice engineering that's throughout the whole. Dude, the whole it's but, everywhere. It's 50% it's just, of the show. The second they showed the Klingons, I was out. It was just like Jesus it was Christ, dude. This is like on marbles hater. in their mouths. Every other character is binary or or, or gay or alien. <laughs> lesbian. They're all. She's better at their at what they do than everybody. She's better at science than Spock. Yep. She's better at command than anybody. How you go from being in the brig for insubordination to I'm the captain of the ship. Well, not just not just being in the brig for insubordination, being in the brig for starting a freaking genocidal war because you're an asshole who can't follow orders. Okay, here's oh, a, see now I like her again. Here's to Paul. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Yeah. Well, I just have to say that girl with the really big hair in the midground. That's how you do big hair. That be That's Marlena thing? Monroe. That's that Marlena Monroe. Way. That's what she looks like in the mirror universe. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That's and look at the in boots. The yeah. 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 That's how you design yeah. boots for women. Okay. All the way up. There you go. Share my screen. There's yeah. more mirror universe. Wow, Michelle Nichols very, was a hot little, little number back in the day. The special effects were neither special nor That's effective. what that's what Tapal looks like in the uh in mirror the mirror universe. universe. Hair down. Yeah. yeah. Let her hair down. Yeah. Yep. So this is the one that's the Vulcan chick, right? Yep. That's yep. the Vulcan. Yep. That's Jolene this Blaylock. I was about earlier. Yeah. This, this is where the ratings were going. The yeah. ratings were dying. So they're like, we got we to gotta, we gotta do something. We got to give it a bit if we yeah. can see her Vulcan ears. <laughs> give her a smaller top. Let her <laughs> hair down. Clint's like, because like, now let me tell you how you do sexy. <laughs> yeah, Clint knows what sells. He knows you what drop, you drop your again. communicator on the floor. Bend over and pick it up. There you go. Oops. Put her in. Put her in little girl tops, and <laughs> right. yeah, she, we've been shopping in the wrong. That section hair does look people. a lot better, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you think? Yeah. Her and Hoshi <laughs> and Decon. Yeah. Yeah. Was, we dude, I, 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 Hoshi just looked like she had like resting bitch face. Yes. Like, con- well, would you? Oh, you do scenes with people. Uh, huh. What'd you say, Clint? Well, but oh, I might have pissed Chris off. No, I'm saying this. There are scenes with uh, Hoshi also in the Murray universe where she's also in some kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. You know. it's, 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 uh... All right, fine. Wait a minute. Clint just looking. reminded me of something. I don't think I Uh-oh. pissed Chris off yet. What? Together. Come on. Right. <laughs> well, of all the hot Asian chicks trying to get on a TV show, it's like, how do you, how do you pick the least hot one? <laughs> You pick yeah. oh well now you're talking Mr. And Mrs. Smith, the TV show. Oh my god, you watched <laughs> Oh god, I haven't even watched that crap. I, 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 I forced that. myself to try to watch the third episode, and I'm like, oh my oh my god. Well, if you're so a hot bad. chick in Hollywood, how depressing does it have to be right now that like you can't oh, I know, right? that just the and film. then you see Sydney Sweeney and you're like, What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I hope I hope. I hope all the I money hope and all the success in the world to that woman because I hope she's Sydney not Sweeney backing down. Ask loads of money so that all these producers realize, oh, you know what? All my movies are bombed. Maybe I should put a hot chick in one of them. So here's well, the thing a here's is, a, too, uh, It's like she's she's a woman and she's not ashamed of it. You know what I mean? No, like there's nothing wrong with that. And she's producing a lot of this shit too. Yeah. Her and her husband are making some goddamn money off of that rom com they did. Yeah, they're talking to to Rob right now. Gonna pick up Death Raider. 
Um, make it sexy. Make it Death Raider. So that's yeah, what I, don't, I, I don't found a picture of Hoshi in, the, in the, do it. her fighting cell. So. <laughs> is this the one that you said? That's, that's Hoshi. But I, found a, I found a little bit better pick. That's uh, her and uh, she looks like a bobblehead. Oh, that's so mean. That's no, mean. Yeah, yeah. So this but is that's her. Not it. No, that's her and uh, to Paul fighting. Yeah, oh, okay. you can get a, you need a better look at what her cost her costume looks like in the back there. Yeah, yeah, so. her doughy abdomen. We need we need <laughs> I've got, oh, I've got, oh, oh, more. got better abs than <laughs> yeah. us. It's like they nice night. No kiss. They needed yeah, short kiss. shorts instead of the pants. Bill's very doughboy was pushing on those things. Oh, <laughs> He's oh, like, oh god damn. <laughs> She's just being a dick. You're so svelte. <laughs> she needs some balls to be built into that suit. It's like it's like 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 when they poured her man. into it, they let it run over the edges of her belt. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, man, uh, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you sit here, put her next to Jolene Blaylock, it's like, yeah, come on, you look like a little everyone's boy. dog that's, food that's, next yeah, to Jolene that's Blaylock. Really <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just keep on stepping. <laughs> That's probably why she was pissed being in those scenes. She's like, "Yeah, great." Oh, dude, I'll man, it was like, like, it's like, 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 just like when, like, when, uh, what's what was a uh, what was her name from uh, Voyager? Who was uh, Belina Torres? Belina oh Torres. God, yeah. Roxanne her when, when when seven of not when uh, when uh, Jerry Ryan came on board as the uh, just write her off the show as the as the as seven of nine in that show. You, you just, like she was just like, really, this is bullshit, man. She's like, well, the, the, like the whole, oh, the whole she's freaking cast then, when yes. seven of nine showed up, they yeah. should have wrote everybody off that. Because like, well, they, 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 they did romantic stuff with her for, for the first two seasons, and then Jerry Ryan comes on, and then she's like, "Nope." <laughs> They're like, yeah, but "You're going to marry this dude, and that's it." The split second that Jerry Ryan comes on, they should just like they should have been a transport accident for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah. shit! She just comes up like a shaven mask. Well, yeah. Seven of Nine could have that was done the her blandest, blandest, most generic cast of all of Star Trek. Like uh, Tom yeah. Harris Black was supposed to be your exciting guy on that show. Rob, here's the thing: Robert Duncan McNeil played a character in Next Generation called um, Nick Locarno. Yeah, um, and he was at the Academy with Wesley Crusher. Yeah, the what was it? Red Squadron. Red yeah. Squad, and he he fucked around, and someone wait, died. who was who was that that you said Wesley who? Crusher. <laughs> Wesley Crusher. It's our spirit animal. So <laughs> yeah, that's my spirit that's my animal. spirit animal. Quill Wheaton. So Wait, say it again. Yeah. But shut like up, Wesley. Crush, Wesley. <laughs> so they had a built in shut up, Wesley. They had a built in character that but shut up, Wesley. Emmett Art. <laughs> shut up, Wesley. Motherfucker. I found <laughs> a they, new toy. That they could have put <laughs> on Shut Up, Wesley. Star Trek Voyager. That needs to be on every episode of Pontificators from now on. That <laughs> and like then the oh my. oh my. Dude, oh my. Dude, Art's going to make me regret showing him how to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to use it right. Now, the God. way it was intended. You were, oh, before you, were you saying... go any further, um, oh. uh, Cyborg, I'm, I'm sorry. I got to, we got to get this place sexy again. Like something, oh. something's going on. Like we need to bring it back up. Look at this. There we go. Oh, that's what uh, I thought. I don't care what anybody says about AI. I like it. I like <laughs> plastic skin. I, you know, I used to, you know, like, I look at this and it, I, I remember what I used to think that Major Kira Norris looked like because uh, I thought she was hot. And then I looked at pictures like, eh, she really wasn't. Yeah. Oh, do you ever see her in person? She's a lovely lady, though. She's huh? just fun, super man. skinny. She's a really cool lady. Skinny. Yeah. 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 Super skinny. Oh God, yeah, dude. She was like, she's like, she's like a rail. I think she was a, her a ballet dancer. Yeah. Oh, but, and uh, and um, I think it's this one here. No, this is not. This no, is it. it. Yeah. Arrow. All we need is a green filter on this, and we're Star oh, yeah. Trek. For the Orion. Look at slavery. she's untying something. This is just for you, uh, Clint. Nice. Why does she have time? I just saw her like a month ago in an Elvis movie. I did an Elvis. Orion yeah, she did Elvis girl. movies. Yeah. I did the Orion Slave Girl variant for my Slave Girl comic book, where it's nice. Slave Girl and the Orion Slave Girl up there. Nice. We got a fan. We got a fan. Eric Boy. Yeah. Oh. 
Like Shut up, movie. Wesley. Did we, no, did it's we unfortunate. Lose our entire audience, or is it? <laughs> I don't know. We probably pissed off half the people. <laughs> so... You want to see a pot belly? I've got Michelle Nichols head on. Okay, oh. here we go. Oh, that. What did you say? A pot belly? Yeah. Or a hot be. belly. You like her belly button. That's what it is. You're attracted to yeah. innies. I can tell this about you. <laughs> I don't know. You know what sucks? I can't Joan stop Collins. looking at it right now. Joan Collins was in Star Trek, but the when she the character she played looked frumpy as hell. Oh, the nineteen uh, forties. Yeah, si- right. yeah. yeah. Sitting yeah. on the edge of forever. The edge. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, was, Keeler. I, I was in San Diego. I stayed at the same hotel as, as Harlan, and I met him like on the elevator. I had to say something, and then I walked like the whole. You know the I can't remember what hotel it is now, but like it's it's like six or eight blocks from the convention center. And it's got the big lobby with the, that you could drive into. Is it the one in Atlanta? No, San Diego. Oh, okay. San Diego. And so, but but Harlan. Oh, oh. Hey, sorry, really? Chris. Chris, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I did. I live in the Is mountains. That's a walk in. Fucking. What you were saying? Like, Harlan, if the that... wind blows. Yeah, but Harlan told me the whole the the whole story of that you know episode of him, the script that he wrote and the, all the changes and shit, and I got the whole scoop. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, have you did did you ever hear the story of like because uh, Gene Roddenberry tapped him to write the original motion picture because oh, he really? said because after that he said he would because after what happened with uh, sitting on the edge of forever he said he would never do it again. Yeah. But Gene convinced him to do it, and he and Gene were talking to this producer about the movie, and that's that's where like because he he's the one who came up with that idea that Shatner stole where they go back in time and meet God. That and they're pitching this to him, and this dumb, for this stupid producer, he go, he he was like, he had just been reading a book about the Incans and the Mayans. He goes, oh, and this, and there's a scene where he had them going back to the beginning of time, uh, where God takes them to the beginning of time and shows them the beginning of the universe. And he goes, oh, when that happens, could you do something with the Incans and the Mayans? And Gene Rodberry said it. he could just feel him like, are just like getting ready to lose his shit. Yeah. And the guy go, he goes, no. Because it's the beginning of time. And the producer goes, yeah, well, the people won't know. Wow. He, and he just loses his shit and he storms out. And then oh, he never just said well, shit. Hang on a second. Wait, what year is that? Because <laughs> yes. that's like Not, the... You know, say yes. Late it's it's easier it. to agree than to disagree. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about yeah. cocaine Hollywood, though. You know, it's yeah. right about there. Jesus Christ. They won't know. Yeah, yeah, Star Trek book? fans won't know anything about yeah. time. Is that the one where where uh, where Kirk says, "What does God, God need the starship?" Yeah. Well, that, he, he, he uh, Shatner kind of bastardized that and turned that into Star Star Trek Five. Um, yeah, and, but you know the issue with that is you know because it's clearly not the best Trek movie, but no. like they 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 kept cutting his budget. Like yeah, you know, oh yeah, yeah. Where he couldn't even film the ending that was in the script. That's why you know we got what we got. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. and he but, he begged for years to try to. Yeah, to, to get to do a director's cut, but they wouldn't fund it. Well, they didn't give a shit at that point. Yeah. No, they never. Wait, shit, they don't give a shit before it even gets made. Yeah. But oh, um, look, at the, just, look at the new Star Trek movies. They don't give a shit. That third Star Trek movie, they give zero oh, fucks about that. Oh god, oh, man, it was I so bad. Some Kirk on a dirt bike. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, how do you how do you have how do you have a cast that good with um? What was it? What was it called Star Trek Beyond? What yeah, was the alien chick. Yeah, How Star Trek Beyond was the third one. You have Idris yeah. Elba is a bad yeah. guy. You've got Idris Elba is a bad guy, and you make him into this pasty faced freaking yeah. dude with makeup and shit. All, the stupidest villain of all time. You just made him a space pirate. It's just, that whole awful, planet, man. That whole planet is hiding that secret of a bioweapon, and you're like, this is the future. Yeah, bioweapons are everywhere, idiot. What, what was so special about a bioweapon? Oh, Christ, dude. And the movie, yeah, it, the script was so awful. Dude, that movie was so bad that <laughs> George could, George Takai was pissed off that they made Sulu gay. Okay? Yep. This, think about the shit this dude talks about and everything. Like that. He was pissed off. That's how bad that movie was. Well, they, they, there's an indication of that in, in Star Trek IV with the whales. I mean, they like when they go back in time, and it's like San Francisco. I was yep. born there. That was a little in joke, I thought. Yeah, yeah, it was. But the, but the whole thing was like like he was like like if he said if G, if Gene Roddenberry wanted Sulu to be gay, he would have made him gay. Yeah, 
because he wasn't afraid to do stuff like that. But no, he was dude, not. that movie was so goddamn bad. Oh my god, I was so pissed. They, and they tried to make a fourth one, and um, Chris Pine and Hemsworth both said, "No, we're not going to take a pay cut to make." They're going to read No, they, 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 probably in about yeah, in probably in about three or four years, they'll try to redo it again. And oh, yeah. it, it'll, be, it'll be it'll be it'll be freaking... will have some money in it and they well, think what's they his get... face died and he was one of the big people behind the scenes pushing it well kirk is black and gay in the next one <laughs> and a woman <laughs> he's, and a, he's yeah. cgi well uh, well cgi yeah. kirk but uh freaking um the entire the entire, the entire be... bridge crew is black and gay yeah it'll uh, be it'll oh. be freaking it'll be done by freaking uh jj a- abrams freaking bad robot bullshit with uh, what's his name, Kurt? I think JJ has washed his hands of it. Now. I think Bad Robot is out at this point. Um, yeah, he. Kurt I'm not sure what JJ is involved in because he wasn't going to be involved in the Black Superman, and that's getting squashed by Gun now. Yeah. So well, I don't know what JJ's got his hands in right now. Yeah, there there, there haven't been any Bad Robot it. announcements since he was going to do Black Superman, and since Dude, then that guy, it's been real quiet. What was that? Did, 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 did he make a? Was it a Netflix deal that he did? Who he did that deal? He got four hundred million. It was with uh, was it Warner Brothers. He was going to do it. DC maybe it was with Warner Brothers. Yeah, it was somebody. But yeah. they paid that. They gave that guy four hundred mil. Yeah, to, to create properties deal. and stuff for him. And then he hasn't done shit. Well, <laughs> Amazon was doing the same kind of shit. They were making deals left and right with with people that that had made decent things in the past, or or like uh, buying book rights. Uh, at at twenty forty million dollars a pop, wow! And, for book uh, rights, yeah. yeah. And that's why what's her face is out as the head of Amazon. There's Studios something now. shady about that. That's not right. Nobody pays. That's about what uh, Rob made on his deal. Like crazy. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, well, Mark, more Mark, than more than can't exactly. Yeah, well, Mark, got some of that crazy money. Well, that well, yeah, but at least he did create some stuff. Yeah, the yeah. taint. Well, it, it, he still he still made it though. He still made stuff. They, JJ Abrams Oscar hasn't made legacy. shit. <laughs> JJ Abrams, I don't, I can't think of one thing JJ Abrams has done since then. Yeah, but think well, about should, it. Like, maybe maybe it meant more to the studio just to pay him and and send him along, you know, his way. Did you guys ever see the uh, the Nicolas Cage Superman stuff? Like mm-hmm. that was well worth paying everybody off and sending them along. You know, away, I yeah. mean. Well, that yeah, would have been the, end of the, the flash worst movie, movie ever made. <laughs> There's a lot of Hollywood Shiny horror stories Superman. out there where the studio just like cut ties and cut their losses on garbage things. And uh, oh, the, the world's I better think off in, most, in more recent history was that Bad Girl. Yeah. No, yeah, the Bad Girl thing, the Warner Brothers. That, was, that was so bad that they just wrote it off as a yeah. tax write off. And you know what else? Like, like Marvel, this is. I think around the blade time, wasn't there a uh, a man thing movie that was made yep. and that they totally buried as well? There that was, was, was off of the giant. That was a yeah, it was thing. a sci-fi movie, yeah, uh, from for the sci-fi channel, and then they buried. Yeah, it, it was so bad. Yeah, they they decided oh, let's just oh, let's just scrap it. Man thing wasn't he in? Um, he was in the werewolf. Yeah, he was in the werewolf by night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but, cool yeah. thing is, they could tie it to all that horror, and also like bring in and do uh, Howard the Duck, right? You know, oh bring him God, into all wow. that, like it was in the <laughs> so, comics and shit. I got everybody's, everybody's on, desperate Chris? for Cause, Howard cause the Duck. Everyone's waiting on right. that. Nobody's waiting on that. Nobody's everybody's waiting, waiting on nobody's that. Waiting Are you on a dude, me? Dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm waiting on a Howard the Duck movie about as much as I'm waiting on a Detective Chimp movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're, they're making a Detective Chim movie? No. Lance Link. I hope so. Jeez. They're not making time. anything anymore. Leah Thompson was amazing in Howard the Duck. That's all I'm saying. She was the best <laughs> thing in that movie. Yeah. All right. Do you guys have any other sexy? If not, I'm going to close out with some, um, some green. Some green sexy. Let's see it. Are you Are you guys sure? You guys, you, are you guys ready? Uh, Sophia yeah, but you guys, Butella. You the right one or... Uh, here Sophia we go. Butella in the latest track movie. She was pretty hot. Well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to oh, find that because this is this is Yvonne Craig. Yvonne Craig, the original Orion. Was she, was she the original one? Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's essentially the pilot. Yeah, she yeah, because this is the uh, this is the episode with Garth, right? Yeah, but, she was the crazy well, that's one. That's the that's a regular season episode. Is that Garth and Wayne? Garth is the prison planet. 
But right. yeah, she was on the prison planet with Garth because she's nuts on that. Yeah, because she's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, but he's got the also... perfect profile. Look at that. But she's not in the menagerie. Mm, uh, I'm not sure. Is, no, it, no, is no, there no. a slave girl? That's, in yeah, that's the. There's that's, a, yeah, uh, different slave girl in the menagerie. It's a different slave girl. Yeah, it's the other one. That's why I think she. The other one's the first one. Yeah, this one was was crazy, and she gets blown up from the uh, explosive in her neck. Right. Wait a minute! Somebody killed this poor girl. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How dare they? Fleet Captain but Garth. That's why, dude. I was I was so I was so excited for uh, for Axanar, and then that dude freaking got too big for his britches and started talking shit, and they killed it. Because mm. Axanar was supposed to be about Gar- like the the Garth of Izar, like the the whole mm. battle that created him. What Kirk, uh, like he was Kirk's hero. Yeah, and they got dude. They had they got a real budget. They had real actors working in that freaking thing. Batgirl gone green. Yup. You're damn right she did. I thought she deserved a better motorcycle in that show, though. That bat cycle was kind of. <laughs> have you man. have you ever seen that clip? People love clipping that thing where where she's like trying to be all like women's liberty. She's like she's like equal in like the equal pay for all genders. And Bat, Batman looking goes, "No time for jokes, Batgirl." <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for jokes, Batgirl. <laughs> oh, That's see. awesome. Yeah, Bruce Wayne was not about equal opportunity. Yeah, oh, no, he's a rich guy, man. You gotta keep the people down. Yeah, how do you money. think you make that man. money, right? Yeah, you step yeah. on heads. You don't help people. Fuck yeah, man. you're gonna have to find that out just by doing, you know, with all that money you got now. Oh, I'm already all... stepping on heads. Yeah, speaking of all that money, uh, let's do, let's do, uh, let's do some promotion here. I want to go first. Uh, starting... I have been gone. No, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Well, I'll give you two. Warm up, warm with... up. Wait, Baron's wait, warm up, up, warm up your internet, Chris. And so by the time we get <laughs> wake there, up in the it's not me. yeah, wind it up, wind it up, and then it's, by the time we get gross. around to you, then uh, you'll be ready. Wake All right, Death Raider, Raider, Rob Hunter, what do you got, my friend? I'm not even logged into Indiegogo. Well, you know what? I'm going to go here. What do you, you got, Clint? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. I While we wait not... for the other guys. Yeah. I've got Pirate Queen versus Slave Girl. Uh, this will be uh, the third book in the Pirate Queen universe. Um, it is going to be launching January, February, March, April 19th? 19th, I believe. Yeah, just a few weeks away. 48-page um, full-color book. I'm going to have uh, Pirate Queen 1, 2, and Slave Girl book 1 available on this campaign so if you missed out on any of it but this will be the culmination of the pirate queen saga um it's gonna uh fill out all the storylines that i've kind of had going on throughout the book um um through the pirate queen books and the slave girl book and uh it's gonna be kind of a big epic battle finale so uh, like like I said, this will be launching April 19th, just a few weeks from now. Uh, Maidens of Mayhem is done. We're going to be doing a close out soon for that, and that book will be shipping while I launch this book out. That's kind of the way it's been going for me. I'm uh, shipping the last book out while I'm launching the new book. So uh, everybody keep an eye out for this. This is the mailing list. Sign up for this. You'll get um, a free uh, lenticular a trading card when you sign up and when you back the campaign. So um, the link, I think Bob's been throwing it in the chat. And so hit that link, sign up to the mailing list, uh, get the free lenticular card when you back the book. You're going to have a big launch uh, towards the end of April. And uh, it's a lot of fun and action adventure. And if you've been following Pirate Queen, if you've been following Slave Girl, this kind of be the culmination of a bunch of storylines here. And there may be some green, sexy uh, ladies. There's going to be there's going to be hot babes all over the place with my book, so that's just a guarantee. And this will be an adult. This will be an adult uh, comic too. There will be nudity. There'll be profanity. There'll be adult content. If you read Blue Bombshell, um, if you read some of my other books, you kind of know the way it goes. So yeah. 
Sweet. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, Rob, Rob Hunter, you're up next. All right, cool. So uh, can you see the Death Raider yep. I'm sharing? Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, uh, so Death Raider, I am finished with the black and up white artwork. I am working on the colors right now, and it's moving along wow. fairly fast. Um, then obviously I still got to do letters, but it will be done soon. And that'll hey, be, congratulations, uh, man. Woo! That's a, that's a major feat. So, uh, oh, looks fantastic. It's a year in the making. I spent a year on the black and white artwork. So anybody who, uh, wonders how much time or how much effort I put into it, it was pretty much, uh, almost completely full time for a year. So that's a lot of time to put into uh, 64 pages of black boy artwork. So hopefully everybody digs it and um, can see how much time I put into it. Oh, I think they're going to love it. So you guys, um, I, I think there's a link. Yeah, there's a link in the description. So click that link, go over and uh, back a copy for yourself. The book is done. You heard it here. So, uh, well, the, the line art is done. So yeah, the line art, yeah. the lettering. Um, yep. And then it's off to production to get some printing done. So um, oh, yeah. very good, Rob. I mean, it's a major undertaking um, and uh, you stuck with it and the book looks gorgeous, <laughs> man. So you got a lot to be proud of. You really do. <laughs> I like that you stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's some people that it breaks them, right? They break and they can't get that's things done not, and they just kind of walk not. away from Thanks, yeah, you know? not to mention the people that never fulfill after funding. Oh, so, yeah. Well, I always I always knew it would be a hard push because I wasn't on YouTube and Twitter in the beginning. Um, did I think it would take me a year, you know, to do the, the, the black white artwork? No, I didn't. If I if I knew it was gonna take a year, I probably wouldn't have done it. But I have done it and I learned so much from doing it and spending that much time on it. So, you know. That's how it works. I, I can't believe you have the patience to color it now that after it's all done. I mean, oh, dude, I fucking hate the coloring. I mean, yeah, I hate having to color it after staring at the pages for so long. I mean, it, especially when I get a little too anal retentive about the coloring. Like, dude, like, it's all grayscale. You don't really have to do that much in the coloring, Rob. Just. I would have even works. colored it, man. I mean, the, the black and white line artwork, the gray tones you threw down there, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I had to oh, just because I saw working too hard. <laughs> oh, I always, I, even when I was just an anchor, I, 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 I was, I always worked too hard. I worked too hard for the inks. So. Yeah. Working, yeah. You know. Always. And it shows, man. It shows. So we got, <laughs> yeah. uh, we here, got Rob, barren soil here. Less. <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, this, no, no, Wick. no. John Wick looks awesome in this. Yeah. He does look cool. Yeah. It does look mm -hmm. a little like Neo. Uh, but this is the new book uh, by Chris Wozniak, uh, Barren Soils and uh, or Soil. It's very, very good. Um, I don't. Are we should I the show trailer? stuff? Can I show it, stuff? There's a trailer. I said I put a trailer in the chat. Listen, man. Oh my God! We're I'm do doing. I'm doing trailer? all the heavy lifting for you here. I'm the one who found this, so <laughs> it's one minute. You get the video. <laughs> you want the video? You get the video. <laughs> God, Chris. Jeez. Sound like Oprah, Shoot and them. you get a video, and you get a video. And you get a video, yeah. Um, how much of this should I show, Chris? Well, don't go to the end. <laughs> you want me to keep going then? You want me to show the end? I think that's what he said. That's exactly what I heard, yeah. yeah. Um, Johnny, is, isn't, isn't the whole thing on a free download? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give away a digital copy of the first issue for free until I get 2,000 fucking subscri backers and subscribers and so I'm 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 literally fucking. It's 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 like here it is. If you don't like it, you don't have to fucking back it. But I think I think oh it's really my solid. Gosh, so I'm Chris. not worried about. It. I think anybody that reads it is is gonna dig it because I've got. Was that, was that getting, Danny, Danny Trejo? I saw. No, where? That's In not Danny book? Trejo right there. <laughs> no, no, these are just, just drawings. I mean. Uh, that's looks Neo mean. right there. That's that, John Wick. The Matrix. This yeah, John Wick. John Wick. awesome. You totally should be doing a John Wick comic book right now. Where's my dog? <laughs> Kill my dog. Dude, yeah, the thing awkward. is, this this a looks comic? absolutely gorgeous. Um, and, oh, yeah, and awesome. just the staging, the the uh, the way it goes into the flashbacks, everything. This is really really well done, Chris. Um, mm -hmm. I had a great 
uh, time reading it. Um, like I said, it's got it's got it's a thriller. It's got a nice twist at the end. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And man, come on, man, support Chris. He's, he believes in so much. He's giving it away for free. I mean, that art looks great. He, who does that? <laughs> Chris right, does I'll, that. I'll pick up on the second one. It's uh, yes. Yeah, so, so what do you want people to do at this point? You want people to click the link. Why? You know what? I'm going to drop the link. Trail, in. I guess that's hey, Chris, look what I'm doing for you right now. I'm dropping the link in. Thank Boom. You. I do all your heavy lifting for you. Um, so I click you the link. And then what do you want? What do you want them to do? Okay. They click the link. They, they could literally just get the book for free and read it. Yeah. I, I got the link in. I already put the link in there. To yeah. Part. And so yeah. at that point, just, you know, if you like it, you know, go to fund, it. fund my comic and, you know. Maybe, well, there it is. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe back that Patreon page a little bit. Yeah, you know? or, or yeah but so so you want them to back the Patreon or like you said, you, you need to get matter. some numbers I'm up. Just, so you just yeah. need X amount of downloads right. and then so, that's going to get you into the next issue. Well, I'm already on the next issue. I'm, I'm working on the second issue. So I know, but but you said something about like 2000 downloads or some something like fun, that. My fundamental problems, I don't have time to promote, as you can see. And so, you know, so I figure I'll just fucking, you know, we'll, we'll let the, we'll let everybody read the first one, see what they think. And, you know, it, you don't get a better deal than that, you know, because I know it's good. So I'm not what worried. I'm trying to ask, Chris, is what do you want out of it? So you just want people to download and then you get those numbers and then that's what's going I mean, to. Are there yeah, yeah. Then we're going to go back to, to normal, you know, like doing the fun, my comic and Indiegogo thing. And, you know, Wait. but right now we just want backers to, to or just want emails and, you know. It's, it's can you something. order it though? Can you order a copy? You, not can yet, you buy a no. copy? Well, yeah. Why um, not? Uh, you can on uh, fund my comic, but I have to. I, I got to do. I got to update like the Kickstarter page if I'm going to bother with that and stuff. But, if but, you go but to, on fund my comic, you can buy the book. Yes. Okay, that's there. There you go. Read it if you love it. Buy it. Right. So you can read it before you, it's it's literally. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thanks, that's Rob. Perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay. Hey, okay, Chris. Remember, remember that, and then next time you come on. Well, if, if you don't keep me up till fucking ten o'clock at night. Oh, oh my gosh! It's always somebody else's problem. That's how you are, Chris. You know, if I didn't love you so much, I would, I would do, I would bounce you. I would do this right now. I read it. I like the book. I want. You know what? You know what, uh, Chris? For two dollars, I'll, I'll bring you back in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's been a theme throughout the show oh, all right um uh, uh i know todd's todd's been doing these uh these trading cards what do you got todd do i have to do all yeah, the work for you too? Uh, i'm willing to sell this to someone that watches this show Ooh, for free twenty dollars less than i have it i have it at eighty dollars so if you if you want this i'll sell it to you for sixty dollars if you watch our show nice how much nice. to paint or green that's cool so so if they if they say they watch the show and then they uh what do they paypal you the money how, how are they gonna pay yeah you? they can paypal me the money and i can generate a uh, a label from paypal but yeah if you watch the show and you want to claim this card just hit me up one of the better cards i've done it, so how actually, do you want them to hit you up is it the way that todd put it here like uh twitter or x yeah twitter's fine twitter's fine i'll i'll, I'll I'll put it on Twitter and someone can okay can say and just tell them that you saw this on pontificators and uh Todd will give you 20 bucks off that's a pretty killer deal those cards look fantastic Todd um Thank really you. do man you're awesome yeah, no, yeah. why are you wearing safety glasses oh I'm I was drafting <laughs> I was drafting. really vigorously these aren't safety glasses these are cheaters they're bifocals oh, they look like safety the glasses was flying. they're uh, like your, your shot class <laughs> they're really cool because without them like i can wear you know cheaters all day but it's it bothers you but if you wear these and you look up at something you're watching tv or whatever it's great so i bought i found these at walmart Oh, the last year or so, the only like thing is digital. Like a, this is like a part of the Zoom. 
Or Did you get those at Walmart next to the band saws and circular saws and drills? No. Yeah. All, <laughs> you know, all the heavy equipment. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, this this is Black and White Volume 2, Man vs. Machine. In a world where law and order is often blurred to gray, justice can only be three dots, black and white. Uh, we, oh my gosh, 1,615 backers. Uh, 136,098. So thank you, each and every one of you that has backed this book. The only reason this book exists is because of you and your belief in uh, black and white, uh, myself, and uh, and Comicsgate. So I do appreciate that. You guys, the link is in the description. Uh, Comic Book Bob has been putting it in the yeah. chat as well. Show the shirt. Show the shirt, Art. Show the shirt. Show the shirt. Show Where the shirt. Is the shirt? The, which down, shirt? Right? The uh, I think it's in the, the, uh, it's the one in the, Shane uh, made for you. Yeah, the the uh, on the side there. I, I I don't think it's in that part. I think it's in the side. It's oh, I thought side. you still had it on hand next to you. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Ship it, it out. It, it's pretty killer. You can tell I wasn't prepared for the. It's, uh, it's in the add-ons. Yeah. It's in the like, add-ons. There's, there's a cool um, shirt in the add-ons. They're very very cool. I could go through the updates, but it take me too long. And uh, But the main thing I wanted to do is to thank you guys and to let you know that books are going out every single day. Uh, nice. We have a major, major uh, bundle of books going out. we got a trunk full that goes out every day. We're about a third of the way through the campaign as far as fulfillment. Wow. And uh, I want to thank you again for giving me the amount of time to do what I believe is my best work. Uh, I had a blast doing this, and uh, one of the things is I don't think I could have done this work at Marvel or DC. I could only do it here uh, with the support of you guys. So I want to thank you again and um, and just let you know, if you haven't got your books yet, you will get them very, very soon. And then uh, we are going to do a, a closeout. Uh, Clint's going to close out his book. I'm going to close out my book, and we'll do something uh, probably the Sunday before King's. And uh, then I'll do the official closeout on King. So that's going to be happening very, very soon. Uh, I told Clint and I've, I've told uh, whoever listens to, you know, my rantings, I've said that uh, I want to get a good, a, a good handle on the fulfillment. And we're starting to, my wife and I are starting to get into that zone. Uh, it takes a while to be able to become like a well-oiled machine. And we're getting to that point. I mean, Pamela is doing all the heavy lifting and she is killing it. Um, with printing out all the uh, the labels, putting the boxes together, everything. And all the books, too, are, are not only signed by me, but as her, uh, she's signing as well. She is my co-creator on Black and White, and I could not write this stuff without her. So if she's listening, thank you so very, very much. Uh, thanks for believing in me and this project as well. So, uh, And if you guys don't know, Pontificators – is a weekly show every Wednesday. I know there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people doing shows, but hey, don't be snookered by them. You know, this is the show. This is the place to be every every Wednesday at eight Eastern Standard Time. Um, probably the best show on the internet. Dare I say the best show? Especially now oh, yeah. that Rob back, and we got Chris for at least one episode. And and look at Cyborg Valkyrie. Like we didn't even plan this stuff. It just kind of happens. Just genius, just oozes out of our pores. Um, I don't know how we do it. I don't know how we fucking do it every week. Uh, the entertainment value, absolutely free. A few super chats, yeah, that's all it costs. That's all it costs. All right, look at Chris just like, he's giving me that like, what I are you doing? The standards have gone down so much. <laughs> oh I've been such a short time. It's just they, like all right, you guys. You guys think like Chris just doesn't want to show up? The thing is, we ban him from the show. There it is. There's the I got truth. Two bucks, buddy. Yeah, because because hey, you, <laughs> you said all kinds of sweet things. You 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 sweet talked. You know the the one that can really you can get under the skin. That's Todd. So you threw Todd a bunch of money. You said some sweet things about his artwork, and then you're on the show. See, so if you guys want to get on the show. Sweet talk, Todd, throw him some cash. That's how you do it. That's how Bob did it. <laughs> <laughs> or $2 uh, to art. 
Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So everybody, thanks again. And we'll see you next week for another Pontificators. Take care.